some action heroes who know the meaning of action. God damn, what an amazing way to start this off. With Katie, five years of subs. Jesus Christ. I think you might be one of the first people that ever subbed to me when I could be subbed to. Maybe in the first... Maybe in the first month? Which might mean that... Huh. It's, it's ironic, really, when you think about it. Zach, thank you for gifting subs. Jeez, man. It's ironic when you think about it. I basically owe you money for all of the uh, volunteer work you've done for everything that I've been in associated with. And yet here you are, having paid me for five years. Huh. That's weird. That's weird. Don't worry. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I can make it up. Because of that thing. That thing that I mentioned. Yeah, Jess. New camera, right? Looks good. I, uh... Being a, being a full-time, not full-time streamer, I figured I had to, uh... Had to look the part, right? How's it going? Pretty good. It was a long day. It's been a productive day, though. Long edit. Uh, had two weeks of clips to edit down into a video instead of just one, so that took a lot, a bit longer. Um, cooked a little bit, which also involved cleaning the kitchen. Having your first white claw? Nice. It's, uh, it's clean. It's refreshing. It's, theoretically, uh, a good, a good exchange of calories for booze. It's about as clean as you can get if you're drinking. How many chat points till VIP, VIP or ban? Uh, I think, what, it was at 10,000? Although there are people who have 10,000, so I think it needs to be more than that. Maybe like 50,000. Uh, you're a bum, you want to be Gwent champion, you gotta eat, sleep, drink, piss, poop, Gwent. <laughs> thank you, thank you for the resub, Austin. 100,000, do you think? Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Sly Soj King. Yeah, the only thing, um... <laughs> Has the broken toilet thing worked out? Yeah, I mean, well, there's not sewage backing up into my shower anymore. The scary thing is that, uh, I don't know what changed. I don't know what changed about it. Like, it just stopped happening. Which doesn't, which doesn't fulfill me with... Doesn't fill me with confidence. 100,000 channel points, yeah. Coin flipper between the European bands. Zach, that was your idea, right? I feel like you should... Hmm. You should be involved somehow. Maybe, like, you get ban- how about this? You get ban- mm. no, hold on. Is there a way to make specific people have certain stream badges? So I know you get a badge if you're subbed, and I know the badge changes based on how long you've been subbed. What I want, this is what I want. I want to have VIP or ban, and then the ban lasts about a week. We'll say about a week. Uh, and then when you're unbanned, you, you then have Zaxby's face next to your name forever. If you lose the toss. Uh, I want that. That's what I want. As both an ode to, to Zach for coming up with the idea. But also that just that's just funny to me. Mods. Uh, <laughs> I'll s I don't know if there's a way to assign people. I guess the VIP badge. Maybe I can change what the VIP badge looks like. But that's not winning. You know? Uh, mm, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Maybe that's how I have to use the VIP badge. Like, it's not an actual VIP badge. Jack McGee, thanks for the sub. Appreciate that. Can I get an emote? Yeah, Jess, you deserve an emote. What would your emote be, Jess? Run, Roach. If you win, can you get, oh, the poo next to your name? I only have so many options here. There's like, there's the sub badge and then there's the VIP badge. And I think, I think I can, um, customize those. Oops. Anyway, we're, we're doing Bloody Baron, finally. After last night's five hours straight of side quests and Gwent. Which really, I mean, that's the uh, that's the Witcher way, isn't it? Holy cat, thank you for the Prime Star. Oh, King of the Crypt, um, oh shit. Some shit's, some shit's going down. King of the Crypt, I'm glad you liked the, uh, the YouTube video. Yeah, hopefully this one doesn't, doesn't get demonetized. Because uh, I got like 12 bucks off the last one. And it's just, it's just not worth like... Four hours of edit time for twelve dollars. You know, I could be I could be playing video games. I could be playing video games and begging people for money like usual. So we'll see. We'll see how it shakes out. I'm, I did a little. I did a little bit of fancy editing on this one. Yeah, I gotta build your brand, Zugly. That is that is a hundred percent actually what the value of YouTube is. Is having one place you can point to to say like, look, it's me and only me in this video, and it's still got X number of views. So you should hire me to be a host, or you should 
you should let me, like, sell... You should let me be a Coke Gaming sponsor or whatever. Yeah, no, you're not wrong. Like, the, the time invested, that's mostly what it's for, but... If I don't get those deals either, then, you know, at some point you have to make a, a judgment call. Slow now. Oh, yeah. See, Ben, you're 100% right about that. Yeah, the... The, uh... HEDQ run of Doom was fantastic. Where's Oswin? Anyone seen it? I need to, uh... I need to watch it again as research for my 100% run. Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? I gotta stop shaking. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. I'm a basic bitch and always catch the punch-out run. Punch-out is always great. I always love Punch Out. I always love the Mega Man blocks. I dearly love the the um, awful block. That is that is 100 percent my thing. Alright, okay, I'll leave the Baron alone for now. Yeah, the Doom the Doom hunt, the Doom run was great, and and frankly, it's like I thought it was I thought it was well timed too. Gotta hurry, but I gotta steal this stuff first. Um. Okay. <laughs> Awkward lobster, thanks for the prime sub. Oh no, Geralt's gonna run out of Uh, I guess he must be up. Holy cat! Thank you so much for the cheer. Everyone's yeah. Every, people must have gotten paid or something. Everyone's being really generous today. I appreciate it, you guys. You're, you're keeping the dream alive of, of me not getting a job. Damn it! Ooh, that's not gonna work. I heard your voice from over here. Where? Who's this guy? Open it. Don't stand too close to the doors, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I vaguely remember this. Is there like a prompt? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Back to the door. It's fine. It's fine. Do you know all the possible outcomes for the Bloody Baron? Uh, no. I just know the one that I got before, so no spoilers. I gotta remember to keep putting blind in the title. I keep forgetting that. Ah, <laughs> we've a hero in our midst. The horses. Why, I'm prepared to forgive you the drubbing you gave those pricks at the crossroads. Hmm. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. Anyway, Jess, I'm sorry. For years. If you had ideas for what you wanted your emo to be, fled. Hit Some me with them. Right. Awkward, uh, awkward lobster, I think I think you already, but I'm thinking you again. No. Really? No. They ran from you, didn't they? No. Lying trick! Come on, come closer. I don't remember, uh... Ooh. Vomit Android. Thank you. You think of something? Okay. I really don't... I don't want to kill him, but... Ow. It was just fight. It was just... Could it be Shinji's cum hand, or is that against to Toss? I don't think it would be against Toss, because you don't know what it is. That's a really good idea. That's an extremely good idea. I have, in the past, however, been, um... I have had emotes turned down because of copyright, so if somebody somebody Twitch recognizes it, then that might be an issue. Split Adam, thank you for subbing. Appreciate that that's the best thing you have to do right now. Mountain Buck, thank you for resubbing, too. Yeah, early days UFC. <laughs> Bare knuckle. Sit down. Ball shots acceptable. Man, you early UFC them. was even I more never barbaric. Put a finger on Tamara. Not once. Actually, modern UFC is pretty pretty uh story. humane. Especially even compared to like boxing. Ooh, shame, that's pretty good. Yeah, Lar Shame? I don't mind that. I'm doing your stream comp on YouTube? Awesome, Cooksy. I'm glad to hear it. Hmm. How'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup. How many years do we have the running game? Darned. What's the running game? Is that like the running man? She's seen me drunk and sober. 
She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no what? other, she knew where to press, where to pinch. You so can. Right. Thank you so much for gifting even more subs. For criticizing you. Oh, Witcher. No, I haven't finished the show yet. I've been spending my off-stream time trying to catch up in Monster Hunter. Tell you about it one day. One day. Yeah. I need a, the run emote. I need a lore emote. Samella, thank you for the prime sub. There's a really good lore emote that's like a book open with like lore coming out of it. And I gotta one-up that. I gotta make my lore emote the Twitch standard. Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was all. You in the Guiding Lands? No, I'm still way at the beginning. She had the run of the place. Ask anyone. Did you see where McGregor broke co Cowboy's nose with the shoulder? No, that's incredible. And they'd sent for her when I flew into a rage. For only she could calm me. Hmm. A Make lore book so with tits? I feel like tits should be different. The case, why'd she but there should be some kind of... Rudy should design a lore emote. If I knew. Yeah, you're 100% right. I need to reach out to Rudy. Is he, is he open for commissions right now? No. I need to find a couple of artists. I do, like... Most most streamers basically get their entire Twitch set done by one artist, right? So it looks consistent? I don't know if I want to do that. Crash Monster, thanks for the sub. You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't mm. you tell me? Wasted my time. Alright. Say I had. I'll head up. I'll head up Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Tell me everything you remember about the day they fled. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Okay, Alex accepts community months and they're by different people. All right. They were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. Mm. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. Hmm. Metal box cutter, thanks for the reset. If you had the time, would you try to do a Doom playthrough with a pistol only on Nightmare? Huh. <laughs> no, that doesn't sound fun to me. Um, the only thing that sounds fun left is a 100% run. I've liked doing, getting all the weapon upgrades, all the, all the lore pickups, and all the runes. And I'm gonna do that on Thursday, I think? Just kind of start in the morning, and I should have it done by the afternoon, evening. <sighs> but, uh, oh, sorry, I miss. Oh, somebody, Panny. Yeah, you were asking if I miss Funhouse or Inside Gaming. Of course I do. Or rather, I should say I miss, I miss parts of it. I miss working with the awesome people there. Because, uh, you know, there were, a lot of them were my friends. And they were all extremely talented, hardworking, and creative people. And it's it's difficult to, to not, not be there anymore and to just have myself. Because um, I, I miss the camaraderie there. And I just miss hanging out with cool people. The Baron is a cuck, literally. <laughs> He's been cucked. To be a cuck, you have to like your wife getting plowed by someone else. So. He is an involuntary cuck. An in-cuck. Miss working in games, I'll doubt I'll ever do it again. Yeah, that's... Mr. Nutty, that's kind of the vibe that I feel right now. It's like, I miss it, but also the realities of it. Of working that way, especially under like, especially under a business, is just it, it goes to weird places. I do love that we see more John and Ryan in videos. Yeah, Nezzy, I've been, I was, this isn't meant to be like tooting my own horn or anything, but I was, in, I was trying very hard to insist like that the people who wanted to be on camera and were good at being on camera, that we could open up more spaces for them, and that kind of involved not being in things. Um, so. I did that a lot. I would step out of gameplay videos or, or decline them so that we could have more more room for like John and Jacob and, and Ryan and, and 
just the awesomely funny people that uh, are now, yeah, starting to kind of be the next generation. It's, it's so cool to see. Let's see here. Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. <laughs> Was that you? Oi, we tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick. Jane Milroy. Hit the wall and the pillow. Thank you for the prompt, sir. I staggered backwards onto the table, spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. Oh, Pawn Stars Worldwide? Long time RT Funhouse fan, first time tuning in, bit of a Twitch noob, but certainly do miss that Lodoc touch. Well, thank you and welcome. I'm not gonna lie, uh, Twitch is a little funky these days. There's a lot of weird uh, noises and sounds going around, but hopefully the core still makes sense, which is just hanging out, playing video games, chilling out with cool people. But yeah, this guy is very pitiful. present for all this. Hard cucked. Through the doorway. John Hall should win a Grammy for dick in a blender. The room. Yeah. <laughs> Shine too. So many talented people. All in different ways too. Ah, oh, so great. The sight of her always calmed me. Starting an indie game's power arrow on your Twitch at any point? That was tight. Maybe. Um, that's that's an interesting trade-off because like while indie games are fun and always hold a lot of promise and there's that joy of discovery, no one wants to see them. So, yeah. Uh, maybe. Um, but boy, viewership is usually not good for those kinds of things. What happened? Not that that's everything I'm focusing on. I'm at the point now where I don't have to care. So, probably, yeah. Indie games are harder now, too. Now that everything's on Steam, it's actually kind of hard to find that good middle range where somebody actually tried to sort those games out from all the Russian trash. But Anna was not there. Instead. One day a month? Yeah, maybe. I knew. She'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed. Yeah, the so one millionth limbo clone. Lie there. Tiny thing. Defenseless. That's the other thing too. Once you play a lot of indie games, you start to understand that a lot of them are actually super derivative too. And it was my doing. They're not all like immaculate little amazing high concept uh, treasured pieces. A lot of them are just also knockoffs and not even good ones. Um, so, yeah. The, the ratio of signal to noise still exists in indie games. It's not like it's not like they're all all little darlings, you know. Uh, yeah, I did play Kakarot a little bit for a couple of hours, I think. Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important, or maybe the fact that she lost it. Dude's hat is what freaking did you out. What do with it, child? What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. Just like that. Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Mm. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. Get hold of yourself. Men like you, when they break down, look downright pathetic. You're a heartless bastard. <laughs> Mutations worked then. Huh. But here's the good news. Your dead child might help us find the one who's still alive. And your wife. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, Thank if they you, don't uh, get proper burial, turn into bugs. Dagatansky? Appreciate the cheer. Fucking what? Are you being a dick to him? Because he's kind of he's kind of an asshole, alright? He's an alcoholic, he's an absentee father. Uh, also, I feel like that's what Geralt would say. You playing rough and tough, Geralt? Uh I mean, so we did decide it would be Daddy Geralt, but I feel like he's only Daddy Geralt to people that he feels deserve it. Yeah, Loki beat his wife, I guess so. What did he do? I mean, 
He drank all day. He was a he was a garbage he's a garbage husband and a garbage father. Um, yeah, the bo the Baron is a fucking boomer. He's sad right now, and that makes him sympathetic. But he's not a good person. Um, and I feel like Geralt would see through that. Uh, also, Geralt is surrounded by people who suffer far worse fates than this guy, and they all handle it like a lot better. He just fell apart. Understandable. All right, I get it, but this is a harsh reality, you know? I feel like that's more in character in this moment for Geralt than Geralt being all touchy-feely. Geralt doesn't seem to have a lot of... My read on Geralt is that he doesn't have a lot of patience for men who take too much and give too little, if that makes sense. And that's, that's the Baron, man. He spends all day drinking, enjoying the privilege of power, but he couldn't be there for his wife. He couldn't be there for his kid. And now after the fact, he's complaining about how things have turned out because it wasn't exactly the way he wanted. I really don't... <laughs> That's all men, though? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, but I, I feel like, given the way Geralt reacts to men that he doesn't respect, I feel like, yeah, he... I feel like in this situation, he would be pretty harsh with... Yeah, 100% immersion run. That's kind of how I feel about it. But, we'll, we'll just call this out. Draws strength from killing pregnant women. Thank you for the cheer, Dekatansky. Even if you're competing for the top cheer spot, I dies. siphon up all that money like a sponge, like a gamer sponge. Suck it all up. Family. <laughs> God, Twitch rules. One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual, and turn it into a lubberkin. I did the lubberkin ending. It's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could That's the NA I got before. Days Dav Zero, Feel thanks the for the prime sub. Appreciate it. We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that he might finally rest in peace. Oh, that's not the ending ending of his quest line? That's right. No, my my bloody baron full quest line ended because I went. Uh, I had to, like, this is, I, it's burned into my brain because it was so tragic. Um, that's not the end. Sorry. Uh, that's, that's the, like, most conclusion that I got. And this is kind of why I, uh, this is one of the big reasons I sort of fell out of the game before. Is I got further in the Bloody Baron quest. I got to a point, I think it was even in a separate quest, where the Baron went to this other place and was waiting to go attack this, like, tree monster. I don't remember the context of that. Uh, oh, Snake to Shazer, thank you for the Prime sub. Or, sorry, the sub sub. Sub sub! Uh, no, he buried a stillborn child, John Vine. The, the child was dead. But the, uh, I guess all of the suffering and all the anger caused uh, a curse to enter into place. That's kind of how it works in this rea in, in the Witcher world. If you hate something enough, you can curse it. <laughs> Herbal Burble, thanks for the Prime sub. Anyway. Uh, he was, he was chilling out. We were gonna go fight this tree thing. Uh, yeah, the botchling. Yep. I, uh, I, I, I had a quest active that involved me to go talk to him. And then I went to go talk to him, and it turns out it was the Gwent quest. I was just sort of, like, on autopilot. I was just going wherever the, the things told me. Um, and I was like, I don't want to play Gwent right now, because I had lost to him before. And I was like, he's just gonna beat me again, so never mind. So I left the conversation. And it turns out that was me saying I didn't want to go fight the tree thing with him. So he went and did it on his own. Uh, and then I was like, oh, okay. I don't know what that means. Then when I went into the village later, I found a dead baron and a dead tree monster. And that was it. So they killed each other, I guess. <laughs> and then the bloody baron's uh, quest just ended. That was it. I never got to see the ending of it. So I was like, I was bummed. Uh... That's the happy ending? Yeah, I guess so. Ruined by Gwent, like the rest of the game? Yeah. <laughs> Dagatansky, thank you for subbing. Gosh. And uh, Evan Dunn, thank you for subbing. That is an ending. Yeah. So, running any mods? Not yet, no. Warranty. I, I, I will install some. First up, I'm going to install like an HD texture mod. And then I'm going to start rolling in some other goofy stuff. Um, I... This shouldn't surprise anybody, but good lord... Are there tons of mods that just give every woman in the game the most giant titties and take all their clothes off? It's funny because it's like separated into three categories. One, giant tits. Two, no clothes. Three, visible vagina. All the time. That's like, I want to say 40% of all the mods. Man. Yeah, that's, that's mod culture, isn't it? 
Ooh, thanks for stepping up your sub. Jesus, Dagatansky. This is... You got some escalation going on tonight. Isn't that already in the game? Yeah, but boy, you... You want to see some juicy-ass titties. Good lord, modders. All the time and energy put into putting the bobs... The bobs on girls in games and... Any, anything else could be done with that time, but... Yeah, that's legit every mod. You're right, you're right. Yeah, everyone's horny already. That's how it happens. Uh, did you beat the Baron at Gwent? Yes, I did. I did indeed. I got his card. Still not sure what to do. Whatever you decide, we must put an end to my child's suffering. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. Yeah, that was Skyrim as well. I'll yeah. show you where I buried her. And I'll dig the grave at my Looking at the wall of mods in, uh... It turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubricant. Oh, immersive cam? I saw that one. Andy, either way. It was hard to see exactly what it did. Since it was, uh... Just screenshots, The you know. sooner we resolve this, the better. But I might as well play around with that. At midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight. Yeah. No, see, bet I'm not. I'm not gonna install. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw. I'm not gonna install outside their big doors. titty mods. Maybe if they're wearing clothes. At some point. Do I take a shot? At some point, it's just funny. Dig up the grave. When take it, you'll need it, but not for that. When dudes make. Horny shit for other dudes. It's the most grotesque thing in the world. It it, it reminds me of like a twelve year old diagramming the perfect woman in like his school notebook. Just two giant circle tits and then like no body fat anywhere else. Yeah, the I respect women a lot mod. Not a lot of those, unfortunately. No. What would we mistake? Names are powerful seals. Of course, it's raining. Like the movie Weird Science? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, we need lady modders. I mean, there are mods to yes, make spots. Garrett look like Henry Cavill and then also give him Henry Cavill's body, so. Yeah. <laughs> Get a punch card every time you respect a woman. Damn it. You turn it in when the punch card's full for one free smooch. I'm plowing now, I've done wrong. Good. Yeah. The grave. I'm gonna use those mods too. It's true. Empty. Uh oh. What's that mean? Watch things on the prowl. There's plenty of cock mods. Good. Look. It's binding of Isaac. Terrible thing. Amateur, thank you for gifting a sub. Take it in your arms, quick. And if it goes Garrity, it'll bite us in the arse before we know it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets plowing restless? It'll bite through your jugular, and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. Man. Back to the fortress. What's this? As I recall, you were the one wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lubricant. Oh fuck. Thanks for giving uh thanks for gifting another sub, amateur. Appreciate it. But yeah. Oof. Yeah, this is this is how I proceeded with this quest before, so. What is the Leberkin? It is a it is like a not malicious uh stillborn child that just sort of floats around and protects your home. A sort of hob. Thank you. <laughs> we stream Iceborne on PC. Yes, that's that's the goal. And also thank you for cheering yet again. Good lord. You're uh oh going wacky. Oh. Use Yarden. Jesus. All right. All right. Lord. Jesus. 
guys are a little more spicy than usual. All right, who's gonna? I can I can see it in my mind's eye. Someone in the chat's telling me to use the moon dust bomb or specter oil. It's only ten percent. Look at okay. So think about it this way: I can kill a specter in, in five five hits, so oil does nothing. Wait, what do I axie it? Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Quiet now. Don't use oil until I get the superior versions. Yeah, those are twenty-five percent. That seems like it's pretty important. Me? Nothing. This is your job. Anybody else is blood and bones? No. Uh, uh, difficulty. This is um. True. By tomorrow, it'll be a lovely. This is death march. From then on, we'll watch over your house and help me find your family. Alchemy builds are crazy. Gotta use arrow? Yeah. Use arrow! Get on the Hydra's back or whatever. To hurry. Whatever. Wait. Jesus. Hot crits. Good lord. Wraiths with all their goddamn combos. Oh! Oh! Mm. Playing Street Fighter all of a sudden? Stop it! The first attack doesn't look like it's coming out. It's kind of weird. There. You made me use another healing potion. And famous! Thank you for gifting... Five subs? That's a lot. That's a lot. Parry it? Oh, yeah. I guess I guess if they're using swords, you can parry. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of used to just not... Or just hitting B to dodge all damage in the game. You feel this? You have to watch the cutscenes again? Please, Vic. Please. I think I'm gonna... Fail something in a video game? It's a girl. Come on now. What would I do of Come on now. Yeah. Ooh, kill Mary fuck with Siri and Trist. Siri should not be allowed on that list. You're gonna have to find another adult woman. I guess in her most forward moment, she's of age, but repeat after me. Series 21. By the powers of Earth. Still very much a father-daughter relationship. By the powers of Earth and Sky. By the world that was to be your home. By the world that was to be your home. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. I name thee, say her name, and embrace thee as my daughter. I name thee, Daya, and embrace thee as my daughter. Good. Now bury the body. Uh, did you watch the TV show yet? Yes, part of it. Just the first two episodes still, so. <laughs> Happy birthday. Uh, what is this baby thing? This is his stillborn child that was cursed into being a botchling, which is like a, a demon kid that floats around and screams at things. And then to break the curse, now he's going to now. turn it into a bogling. One day's time. Lubberkin, never mind. <laughs> I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my choice. Yeah, this show's pretty metal. I mean, this game. Whatever. Guilt. The responsibility for all this lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. See? Geralt's dropping truth bombs. No buts. 
Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. He's going to. Woodcox Johnson, thanks for the prime sub. Wait for him to go. Alright. Part of me feels bad for the Baron because he realized he fucked up and wants to make amends, but part of me doesn't because he fucked up so bad. I mean, yeah, isn't that's just that's just life, right? Good people don't let it get this bad. But yeah, I mean it's that's that's good writing though. There are there are no villains, there's people who just make mistakes My or believe that they're doing the right you. thing. With your name I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Like a fantasy Lifetime movie? Yeah. Well, Lifetime movies are just good, good stories. Oh yeah, Lead that's right. To those bound to you by blood. Uh, oh, okay. That's right. I gotta use the ghost baby to tell me where this dude's wife and daughter are, so they can tell me where Siri is. No one else is freaking out about this. What's up, v Vidus? Yeah. No. Help. Ever heard of preventive ass whooping? What? Preventive ass whooping? No one else sees the baby. I don't know. I don't think they had the AI to script for that. Q Rai guy? Oh, you heading to bed? Cool. Sleep well. Thank you for watching. Yeah, everyone's too busy pamperamming. You back with wine? Ooh. Jess, it's gonna be a saucy evening, huh? Straight from the box. Damn, now I want wine. Can baby, can ghost babies poop their pants? Yes, but it's spectral poo, which turns out is just cotton candy. That's actually where it comes from. Get some wine. Ah, uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to lose weight. One white claw down. Maybe time for another. I think so. I have only had two meals today, but they were both pretty big. I'm like, now I'm trying to do the the devil's uh, the devil's math in my head if I have enough calories left over for a drink or two. Oh, ten dollar gas station wine? Yeah. <sighs> sure wasn't lavender. Thing. I uh, I've done that more than once. Nah. One of the man, uh, a pretty a pretty intense memory of mine. Not one of the proudest ones, but one of the more intense ones was this is when my last relationship was breaking up. Um. It was part of the process of me just trying to embrace being single. Uh, so, for for dinner, oh yeah, think about your ulcer. I don't have an ulcer. It's mostly healed at this point, and your liver. That that's hitting it more. It's more the calories. But uh, I went to a gas station, and dinner was a six dollar bottle of wine and like a six cookie pack of Oreos. That was my dinner, and I got like really messed up and was like playing through Half Life Two. <laughs> That was, that's a fond memory now, because it was one of the, like, more fun things that I did. But, uh, yeah. Because I, I was basically just, like, eating the cookies from the pack and then drinking the wine from the bottle and just playing Half-Life 2. Yeah, we've all been there. Yeah, I wasn't in, I wasn't in the best state of mind, but at least that evening was fun. Now I get paid to do it, you're right. You're right. How old were you when this was dinner? <sighs> 20... 25? Something like that? My, uh... Turn around, though. When dinner is eight beers and some cereal? Yeah, and then there was another time, I, this is when I had moved back to LA, that dinner was... Dinner was vodka and a bag of Pringles. Boy, was I not in good shape then. In a number of ways. Mentally, physically, pretty much everything. But that was fun. Clothing. They change in here. So you playing yesterday and wanted me to finish my last contract yesterday? Ooh, you did them all? Good lord. That is a, that's a lot of work. Been slaying a lot of monsters. Bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Bag of Pringles? Oh, sorry. Funyuns. I'm sorry. Thank you for correcting me. I don't like any other alcohol, but I love wine. Wine? Horseshoe. Wine is so comfy. Way of pitch wine just makes you feel like warm and happy and We're sleepy. Here. I'm going the right way. Wine is like... Wine is what you drink when you're 
having a good time with good people. Show me something more. Or you're alone. Huh. I've never felt like fuzzier and happier than when I'm just drinking wine by myself. Which I don't do that often, but man, it's great. Wine makes you cranky. Yeah, everyone has different reactions too. It's kind of interesting. People get headaches and stuff. I don't know. So sake makes you feel? Hmm. Oh, music stopped. The thing is, despite my loving wine, I've never really developed any kind of knowledge of wine. I know pretty much nothing about wine. This is why I like getting stoned. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's uh it's calorie free. It it has a slight effect on your memory, but so does drinking. Just had a field day. Still with a closer look. I don't know, man. What is that? There's like a street song that basically goes over how ridiculous it is that alcohol is so accepted by society and kind of this communal thing where where weed is just like no one no one beats their wives on weed. No one like no one gets in massive car well, I'm sure some people do get in massive car wrecks, but like Alcohol has destroyed so many lives and so many families, and I mean, at its worst, like weed probably keeps keeps idiot kids from getting jobs because they just sit around bored all day, watching Star Trek and getting high. But that's not good either. Don't get me wrong. I think there's like you still have to be an adult either way. But man, the uh, just the 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 negative effects alcohol has on society are wild. Tommy Bomb, thank you for the sub. Watching Star Trek? I don't know. Whatever. How it's made. Uh, Adult Swim. I remember seeing, and it was it was it was amazing. And there was like a <clears throat> somebody rated all kinds of drugs and substances based on their their damage to self and their damage to others. And like alcohol was like right up there with meth and cocaine. And then way on the other end of the spectrum is stuff like mushrooms and weed. Just things that don't hurt anyone, but they're just they're just not okay. I like being warm and fuzzy. It's nice. It's nice to, uh, especially after a long day and you're working, it's nice to just have like a small glass of wine and just be like, oh, just like let, because it is a depressant, it does relax you. Um, a girl flipped her car in my town while she was smoking literally the night before it was legalized. She was okay if anyone wonders. Oh, God, that's terrifying. I... I cannot understand people that drive high. Unless you're like rolling down in the shoulder five miles an hour, just like terrified. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. Kyle the Noble, thanks for the resub. It's Lando, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Monkeys ate mushrooms and developed into humans, proven fact. I mean, it sounds like you ate a mushroom and came up with some science, but that's Bones true. have been here a while. It's not the stoners you need to worry about, it's the type of people who hardly smoke. Oh, so they like flip out. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Oh. A story a mate of mine had on a bad trip in Amsterdam? Oh no. Like went too hard too fast kind of thing? When I was in Amsterdam, they wouldn't um They they like sold they wouldn't sell them to you dried. So you would have to buy like four packs and just bolt them all if you wanted a really Go for a go for a ride. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made. I I got like one of the little packs and just like ate the things. It didn't taste good, but it's not supposed to, whatever. And then I just sort of like it was kinda like it was kinda like just being weed high. I just sat on the couch and watched uh, Dutch music videos. When'd you go to Amsterdam? This was twenty fourteen. That's actually I was in Amsterdam when um, I messaged Stephanie for the first time on OKCupid. Okay so I like to think we met there. At least one of us did. Want to try CBD for my chronic pain? Well, you're in California, Jess. It should be simple, right? Uh, just getting some strong hallucinogenics that made him feel like the city was in the middle of an earthquake for hours? Oh, Christ. I didn't even know that they could sell hallucinogenics. Because mushrooms aren't hallucinogen, are they? Are they psychotropic? I actually don't know. Um, hmm. Oh, they are? Oops. Okay, never mind. Some are... Okay. I certainly didn't hallucinate. She's missing. Is this the Ask Joe Rogan in the smokehouse? Wasn't Salvi on the counter? Oof! I've never done that. Head torn clear off. 
takes incredible strength. Psilocybin mushrooms are absolutely hallucinogen. Okay. I don't know what I'm talking about then. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. <clears throat> Trail goes on. I gotta be careful about that. Uh, spouting off information that I'm not sure about. That's something I try to be mindful of, is, is making sure I disclose when I don't know something, which I try to do as often as possible. I feel like it's good for the soul to remind yourself of what you don't know. Weed is also a mild hallucinogen? Really? Marsh? Wow, you... Huh. I didn't know that. I think you've gotta, like... You gotta, you gotta hit weed with a mission to get into hallucinogenic territory, I feel like. Smoke enough. Ugh. We made it to this house, I guess. Ooh. A fisherman's hut. Seems she wants. You're at a huge edible dose. Uh, I, I guess define huge. These days, I don't know. Um, it does get to the point where it's just not pleasant anymore. If I go, like, 50 milligrams or more of THC, that's when it starts to get a little... I get a little out of my head. Usually I keep it around, five, like, 10 to 20. To just be, like... Just to, just to have a movie and get... Or watch a movie and get some thoughts. Like, that, that makes it very easy to get through bad films. <sighs> DMT fascinates me, but I'm apprehensive because I've had it described to me as take universe, shove it into cannon, and aim cannon at your head and fire. Oh, good lord. Wow. My dad did edibles once and it was so funny. Uh, my tolerance is so high at 300 and felt a little sleepy. Yeah. When you get used... Your brain, I think, can adapt to being high. That doesn't mean you're not high. It just means you can still function. Like, you... Your brain, like, routes around all the high centers so you still know what to do. But yeah, 100 is... is that's a lot. 50 is not that bad. I've seen people... How much would it take to enjoy Rise of Skywalker? Mmm. I'd say about 50, yeah. My first edibles experience, I kept eating cookies because nothing would happen. Then it was stupid about two hours later. A lot of people fall victim to that, yeah. It's tough, too, because the exact second you get, you get like, you, you think nothing's happening is probably the exact second it's starting to kick in. So, yeah, people eat more, and then once it all hits you, goddamn. We left to go shopping. He thought we were kidnapped, and he called the cops. Oh, no! Oh, that's, that's sad, but also wholesome, in a way. That's nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women, yeah. the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, mummy? The girl that does edibles and does her makeup makes me cry laughing. Oh, I gotta check that out. I want to help that woman. She could be in danger. Young and see no one, my lord. He's a kitty. Must have dreamt it. I want to hear this dream then. Uh, can't conceptualize 50. The effects of 15 set me for the day. Yeah, it's kind of like alcohol. There's definitely a point at which it's like it's fun and then it turns bad. I feel like that's kind of the same with like edibles and, and THC and really anything in life, you know? Moderation. Uh, is... There's a time for splurging, but man. The people who go hard all the time, I'm just like, ugh. So yeah, sometimes when it gets too hard, I'll just like, I'll just feel like really uncomfortable. I'll have to like, focus on breathing. Let's focus on the game. Yeah, I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little away from it, aren't I? Where'd the girl go? Oh, sorry, conversation with chat is so good tonight. No point in playing dumb anymore. Moderation and all sorry, things. Sir. True enough. You don't look like one of our fathers. True enough. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is hoy. She's to my the second time with edibles. It took me an hour to figure out he's my Uber app. Just staring at your phone. I mean, phones. Good God, what a what a black hole. God help you if you ever open like TikTok or anything like that. That's two hours of your life gone. Beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna. I mean, everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for the stop. Does that mean even moderation and how much you moderate? I'd say so. Yes, I think even moderation and moderation. I think there's a time. To indulge. Uh, I think that applies pretty universally. When I smokes too much, she gets super sensitive to her surroundings and ends up crying. Oof. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, it can, you can get just physically uncomfortable. And that's not fun, you know? It's not fun to spend hours like that. Jesse Millman, thanks for the sub. Pay attention to lore. I am. I am. What happened to Tamara's mother? They're saying they didn't see her. They're claiming that she was beaten, because that's probably the story she was putting around, or that's oh, was a white like the truth is somewhere in the middle. With horses. Cold as hell and so dark. Couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high. And still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched him. But finally they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. Oh, to the damn birds. The wild hunt come for those of them coursing o'er the woods, raising the racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. Toward then I saw him. Fiery marks on her hands. Oh, the crones? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I, uh, I'll ask things out loud. And it's okay if you, like, this is a blind playthrough. Um, but it's no big deal. Like, this game is old. I get it. I, if I wanted to play it without getting spoiled, I would have done it years ago. So, I, uh, you guys, I will have a, a light hand, and also mods also have a light hand on anyone spoiling anything. It's just, unless somebody's going out of their way to do it. But I think anything that happens incidentally is, is, is fine. Mm -hmm. Why help them at all? Yeah, boy, don't worry about it. It's cool. Old Miss Everything's Tamara. Cool. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought you need a podcast? I'm on one. Tamara it's called Talk to the Internet. Brought food and salves. We're poor. I need to start tweeting out that link. She saved my boy. But yeah, we got it on YouTube. We got it on audio feeds. Me, myself. I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We need to pay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Aww. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Awesome. Anna in the end. We should get a name for it. It's a little hard to Google. Yeah. Made a comment for the audio in Bruce's chat? Okay. Uh, wait. You mean like a link to the podcast feed? I should do that too. Yeah, I'll do that. If I remember. How's this with the controller? Um, very good. Eric Cooper. Uh, it's it's a pretty deep RPG, so there's a lot of menus and tabs to cycle through, but you get pretty good at it. Pretty quick at it. If you're playing on PC, there are mods that I think speed it up quite a bit, too. Spotify? It should be on Spotify, yeah. This is one of my favorite games of all time. I'm very excited to see you play it and see... And what you think about the choices you make? Ah, uh, it's so exciting. I know, I'm what marks? real excited for... to just well, keep putting time into this game. But yeah, I am playing with a controller. With hot iron? Yeah. On the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand. Oi, no, these wasn't black scars scabbed over. They's hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. Fine, what happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse. Austin, I made the feeds. I have the links. I appreciate that, but... And Miss Tamara's got spooked and tore off. No, I can get the links. It's cool. <laughs> What's up, Bella? Wanted to go back for a mother, but my wife pleaded. Oh, see you, Jess. Hopefully you enjoy your evening. Miss Tamara agreed. Not to go. Hopefully, it's a a wine and anime filled evening. That's a real real cozy time. Thanks for your help. The lady, she'll be all right in the end, won't she? Oh, I woke up early and didn't sleep I the best. I oh, I'm sorry to hear that. She is. Can I reclaim my sword? Uh, yeah, I don't see why not. Unless this is all a trick. Hold on, let me rob. Let me rob your. Oh, this this kid thinks he could shove me out of the way. I'm still stealing everything from your, your family. How do you feel about that? Dumbass kid. That's what you get. Because you dared lay a hand on your witcher. Ooh. Oh, hold on a second. Let me... Let me, uh, remod Zach here. This is like the... I feel like this is the fourth time. 
your uh, your your Twitch handle has been under duress for some reason. Somebody else somebody else stomped or like scooped on it before, right? Pray the gay will stay. What a great name. Thanks for the prime sub. Praying every day. God bless. Yeah. Are there no repercussions from stealing people's shit in this game? Not really, no. Um, if you try to steal from, like, an army encampment, they will attack you. But, uh, normal villagers do not. Possibly because they know they can't do anything about it. What's up, Anthony? It's going pretty well. Uh, let's see. When a traveler from the Northern Realms first crosses the border into Toussaint, he feels at once as though he stepped into a land ripped straight from the pages of a fantastic fairy tale. He will know no inclement weather there, for even the winters in Toussaint are mild and sunny, with only gentle calming breezes and not a hint of gale. He will know no hunger, for the trees and brushes of that land burst with ripe and juicy fruits all the year long. He will know no loneliness, for each and every soul he encounters will treat him like a long-lost friend. He will not find a single backwater of dullness, boredom, or inquietude in this overflowing stream of marvel. And Toussaint, the wine rages in torrents. Music plays ceaselessly, and everywhere the air is filled with the sound and bird song and the twittering of beautiful minds who are never stingy with their ample charms when a handsome knight comes a-calling. The capital of the Duchy Beauclair is an architectural gem full of glorious elven monuments, delicately soaring towers, masterfully carved reliefs, and atmospherically mysterious ruins. Only the rare sun in a field of black, the odd gold and dark stain on an otherwise pristine edifice, remains one that this land, this fable incarnate, is a vassal of Nilfgaard. Oh. How dare they. How dare they suffer the yoke of Nilfgaard. Yeah, uh, Toussaint is um, blood and wine, right? And Twitter so here has diverged. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. Milfguard, more like Milfguard. A a. Yeah, where are the milfs? Where are the milfs? It's too sane. It's too sane. Oh, really? Okay. That makes sense. There's like an AI in there. Never said I knew how to pronounce things. Yeah. We need more MILF action in this game. Yeah, we need MILF bobs. Is there a mod to make every woman in the game older? We need a MILF mod. Like, post-pronto. I don't know why, but that reminds me a lot of, um... What is it? A Lost Odyssey? The mom character in that game? Man. I remember thinking about it this even back then, but she's got some big old milkers, and like, they tried to make her more matronly by putting like little boob veins on the boob. I'm just like, good lord, this is HD video gaming, huh? We can see boob veins now. Anyway, that game rules. <laughs> you ever read William Gibson? I've read uh, Neuromancer. Got to. It's, uh, I'm honor bound. Boot veins is how you know the milk is fresh. Yeah. It's the only way to know. You're at Snow Crash. I actually haven't. And that's, that's unforgivable. I will by the time Cyberpunk comes out. There's no reason not to. Y'all creepy ass. Come on, this is Twitch. It's horny night. Every night's horny night. Western games can't have nice mills because devs would get jealous. <laughs> Why isn't my mom that hot? You're right though. Japanese devs gotta show Western devs how to how to make good video games for a change. Cool. 
should have started with the Witcher 1, 2, or 3. Yeah, 3, I think. Um, the most recurring and I think the, the most accurate piece of advice is to just read the plot synopses on Wikipedia if you feel like you're going to miss out on something, but there's not much of a reason to play 1. If you like 3 a lot, you could then go back and play 2, I think. Missed a couple of cheers. Oops. Kami bomb, thank you. What the fuck? Oh, shit. What? What happened? Oh, I stole. Oops. Right. That's what happens. Come on, let's go. Two is fine. Yeah, it's more like, um... It's more a question of, uh... Are they always gonna be aggroed against me? Reload? Yeah. Oops, all stealing. Don't worry about it? Oh, okay. Your sword was out? I mean, he drew his sword because I think they took... Or I think I took something that I wasn't supposed to. They on an aggro after like 500 feet of running. Okay, well no big deal then. There wasn't even like a there wasn't even like a merchant there. Also, I just I liberated this area for you. But yeah, uh, sorry, Kami Bomb. Thank you for the cheer. I'll see you, boy. Thank you, and Leo. Thank you guys for all the cheers. Appreciate it. You guys are making making the mid Witcher magic happen. Reminds me, I gotta play another shitty Star Wars game this this week. Ow! <laughs> okay, now it's time for oil. What's up, Steph? Yeah. Child of Adam, thank you for the Prime sub. You know, martial arts are cool and all that, but have you heard about martial... Wait, what? <laughs> I don't think I understood. Oh, shitty Star Wars game? No, the the new shitty Star Wars game is, um... Ooh. Uh, Yoda's Challenge Activity Center or something. Oh, Marital. Agni also stops their regen. Okay, good to know. I like to think that I'm somewhat of a master of the marital arts. Dang. Hmm. Hmm. It's a good sword. Oh my god, it's worth so much money, though. Play the new Star Wars game that didn't suck? Jedi something? Yeah. Jedi Fallen Order? I did. And I enjoyed it quite a bit. Quite a bit! Should get Bruce in and play Jedi Power Battles? That's a good idea. Maybe when I... Yeah, when I get up to that one. Um... That's a few games away, though. Yeah, Bombad Racing is in is in the list too. Um, they're guys. They they launched a lot of games with Episode One. A lot. It I I didn't really appreciate it until I started digging into this to try to find and get all these games running. But man, there's a lot of them. Holy crap. Um, that was meant to be like a whole thing. I guess to some degree it was, but Spikus, thanks for the thanks for the coin. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rub those coins all over my face. You empowered me to do that. Alright, this is better. Tisn't! Less stamina, not more! Phantom Menace game is a gem. Playing as Captain Panaka is also prim primo Star Wars content. Moving. Yeah, that level was that level was something else, man. Especially when you have to like fight that droid thing in the room with all the exploding boxes, and I went in there with like four health. Coins are riddled with tetanus. Eh, it's fine. That's Witcher for you. Everything will give you the, the tuberculosis if you're not careful. Wait, why do I have two objectives on the map? Why do you... Ah, uh, shoot. Baron about his family. Ta find Tamara, Baron's daughter in Oxenfurt. Should I go to the Baron first? 
feel like I should go to the Baron first. And just not tell him where Tamara is. Yeah, maybe I should do that. Or maybe I shouldn't. No, I shouldn't. Gwent first? Yeah, always Gwent first. It'll do that when you naturally get to Oxenfurt? Okay. Devil's Pit? That sounds important. Tomorrow first, yeah. Tomorrow first is a good idea. I think I did go talk to the Baron first before, and uh, hit a problem where, like, I had to make a decision about whether or not I had told him where his daughter was, and that was uncomfortable. Oh, it's a bandit camp. Not for long. Hold on, I'm gonna save first. You can see the wonderful sights of Oxenford, it's true. I can and I will. Uh, what else do I have here? Oh yeah, cat stupid. Vampires and necrophages, clears toxicity. Oh yeah. Okay, wow, yeah, it just gives plus one to everything. Huh. Is there a way to see what your toxicity is? Oh, there it is, lower right. Okay, 76%. So if I drink any of these... Oh, it's 25? Okay, so I can drink one. Attack power. Okay. I'll wait and swig that swig that bad boy when I start mixing it up. There's really no character reason for Geralt to be coming in murdering all these people, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna do it. Oh. Uh... Hold on a second. And then, yeah, group shot. Ha! Imagine being the guy who's got to run up to Geralt after you've seen a man just get chopped in half. Mm. I do when I quick save in Skyrim. Yeah, shit's about to get very real because somebody bonked into me and said something I didn't like. So we're gonna throw down that quick save and have a little get and work this shit out. I've never been this toxicified before. That's interesting. My health bar's all messed up. I don't know what that- Whoa! Oh. oh, I'm sorry, I missed a donation. Miss you ton on IG Daily from Fiddle McGriddle. It's just not the same without you. Looking forward to whatever you do next. Yeah, I don't know. I don't- I don't think it'll- the implication is nothing that like things are never the same when people leave, but they can be just as good. You got to start the run over. Yep, deleting the save. Fall damage is a pain in this game. Yeah, he slipped a little bit. He whoopsie. Took a little plop. God damn it. Yeah, Geralt's got got some pretty pretty teensy ankles there. Crap. <laughs> I got to do this fight again. I mean, whatever. It wasn't that hard. Whatever, come and get it. Yeah, now I can fight better. What is this? God damn it. Oh! Got blown in half! Also, that dude's head is on fire? His beard? Okay, that was faster. Yep, killed them. Getting better at it. Okay, girl, watch out. Oh. He wants this ass. Oh. 
who am I to deny a man an ass? An ass when it is desired. Okay, I'll save. Best tip you can get for which three. Press the jump button before you hit the ground to do an action roll and reduce most of the fall damage. Oh! I didn't know that. That's actually pretty useful. Thank you. I'll try it out. Okay, well. No. Whatever. That basically worked. I'm not dead, so. Kind of that, count that as a victory. How you like that silver? It's vampire oil. That'll be useful at some point. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, very spirited. Are you allowed to say is one when you're alone? Oh, Christ, what happened here? Is you let me just use Axie if it's high enough level? Oh yeah, I guess I could do that. Eh. Whatever, man. Guess what, he's still dead. Hmm. This is an exit for a quest. Ooh. A lot of things going on here. You guys still talk to James and Adam. What do you mean by you guys? You mean me? Power tools? Oh. Stephanie's doing a bit of reorganizing in the house. And uh, since this is California, it's typically a good idea to um, fix things to the wall. Things that might tip over and fall on stuff. So, oh, you and Bruce? Well, I can't speak for Bruce. Because he's an entirely other person, and it's not me. Uh, but personally, I, I gotta admit, I haven't haven't had much contact. No, kind of doing up our own, just doing our own things, I guess. Yeah, earthquakes. Earthquakes are a thing. They're a way of life. Go, go. That's sad. Take it easy. That's life. Okay, onward to sunny Oxenfurt. I bet there's Gwent there. You think? Wait, what is this? Why are... Hmm, I guess I just haven't been there yet, so there's no... No label. I have not seen 1917, no. I don't like going to the movie theater. Come on! I kind of hate it. It's expensive and other people are terrible. All the time. Always without fail. Talking, looking at their damn phones. Nah. I'm gonna wait for it to come out on digital and then I'll just watch it then. You keep changing your environment, other things like your hair. Is there some sign of a form of emotional instability? Jesus Christ. And so that's a pretty heavy thing to, to say in this context. Or it could just be that she's got some time and thought of a better way for the house to be laid out. You, li you ran into me, you little shit. Oh yeah, no, yeah. I mean, it was an AMC theater, an experience I had in an AMC theater that basically made me more or less spiritually s swear off ever going to films again. Now, thank God there is a... Uh, there is a Alamo draft house in LA now. It is downtown though, so it's like that's a 30 minute drive and then parking. But man, the experience there is great, I can at least say. Um, so if I really if there's a movie that I care a lot about, I will go see it there. And that's a uh, that's at least that's at least enjoyable. Also they have pretty good food and drinks and things like that. Not referencing anything in particular. I I know you weren't. Um, I know you weren't, but just, just dropping that little nugget <laughs> is certainly a lot of, uh, somebody can, somebody can, uh, can draw a lot of inferences. That's all. Someone called the theater and asked if we were playing movies. Honor in the yeah. Yeah, that's, yes, that's what, that's what we do here. Yep. 
What's the one that... Yeah, there it is. I'm tired of the green stuff around the corner. <laughs> you just gotta be sure, you know? You can't ever be too careful. You don't want to go all the way to the theater and be like, Ah, oh, dang it. They're not showing movies anymore. Now it's a spaghetti warehouse. Oh. It was Shadow Puppet Night? Yeah. Sometimes we get tired of using the projectors to show films, so we just turn on this really bright light and then tell stories. <laughs> oh, and some no, you're you're cool. You're cool and all. It's I think it's just one of those things where like the adjacency of two things can seem a little harsher than they were intended to be, that's all. Believe me, I've been there a million times. Is swallow not viable at this level? I don't know. Let me put it this way, it doesn't matter what's viable because I'm still killing everything. So... Everything's everything's good. Why do they want me to go down? Hmm. Long live Radovid. And spitting it spitting in the rain is a pretty victimless crime. Oh there, Roach. Oh boy. Halt! No passage. Case of the plague surface in the city or something. I'm gonna go to theaters that don't have the tables plague. to order food uh, and no yeah. phone talking policies Which anymore. We're gonna play 1.5 times the price for 300 so percent better experience. If only some theaters are banned goddamn kids. Um yeah, I feel I feel about the kids thing. On one hand, I, I feel like it's it's rough to expect parents to never do anything just because they have a kid. And kids should get to experience it too. And also kids can't control themselves, but it's tough that it um it does have an effect on other people who didn't ask for that or weren't told about it or never had the option to it to to know about it. So yeah, I don't know. Any children only screenings? Yeah. Or maybe like kid-friendly screenings for some things. Kids-only theaters. Yeah. I mean, ideally, responsible parents will, if a kid starts acting up, they'll just take them out of the theater. And I've, I've seen a lot of parents do that. And, you know, it's hard to have a problem with that, right? Okay, my favorite movie theater is the Regency Academy in Pasadena because they show movies after they aren't big in theaters anymore. Tickets are $2.50, $3.50. Popcorn is great. It's across the street from a Rite Aid for cheap candy. That's also the way to do it. Although, uh, C-Bent, depending on... If you can go to, like, a matinee for a, a cheap movie, that's great. But sometimes, man, you get... You get... Real frisky audiences in cheap theaters. What kind of pass are we talking about? Well, a normal one. A transit pass. Who issues them? Hmm. How should I know? I'm a lonely soldier. <laughs> Do you remember what it was like to be a kid? I remember... I remember beats of it. I remember some... Some emotions from being a child. I do remember the frustration, like, good god, video memes, thank you for gifting 20 subs. That's a lot of money, dude. Thank you. Good god. Yeah, that's a pog. Thank you, Zach. That's pog. Hard pog. I need to make a pog emote, too. Pog? Or, I need to make an emote that celebrates me getting rich. That's what I need. Maybe like a jeweled game controller, something. Or like a little mansion. That'd be good. The pog mansion. A mansion- oh, Jesus Christ. A mansion that is itself shaped like the words POG. P-O-G. I get the P and the O, all of chat gets the G. That's why it's basically like three mansions. It's great. Need more better TV emotes? Yeah, I gotta- I gotta sign up for that. I need my peepos. I need them all! Who ordered the city gates closed? You with a grill? The king himself. It's not bad. Doesn't want paupers and refugees pissing all over his beautiful city. Apart from which, when folk can go hither and thither, always a chance some spy will slink through. This way, spies got it harder. So, no pass, no passage. Hey, da, da, hey, la, la, la. farewell. Did you just? Uh. Ah, oh, cat spreads disease. Defeatism and desertion. Fuck. Oh, that guy. Oh. So good. Oh, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> ah. Fuck. Fuck. Oh. Fuck. Long live Radovid. Ah. Oh. 
Oh, I love it so much. Oh, player, don't. Well, I appreciate that. That is that is just kind of an outright spoil. So, try to avoid telling me exactly what to do if you could. Uh, but yeah, get a pass from the Baron. Other people are saying you can just swim into the city. I feel like there's more dialogue if I go talk to the Baron, so I'll do that. And now I can fast travel, I think. Oh, Snake to Shazer, you're you going to sleep? Sleep times. All right. Thanks for watching, man. Landers, thanks for the prime seat, the prime sub. Drop Mantis, thank you for the cheers. Yeah. Redania. Um, help is always appreciated, but uh, believe me, you're you're dealing with the quintessential gamer. Oh, rule five. Uh, I don't remember what I don't even remember what the rules are. I wrote those so long ago. What are the question marks for? They're just places of interest on the overworld map. Also, Chewbacca. Hey, it's good to see you. I feel like it's been a while. Yeah. Do you know who I am? Do you have any idea the number of video games I've played? Because it's many. Axel Stahl. Thanks for the Prime Sub. At least two. You're dang right. Uh, how's the lifting going? Pretty good, Dr. Rage. I didn't get into the gym today. Busy editing, then wanted to get some stream time in. So, today's a rest day, we're gonna say that. But, uh, I'm not back at it tomorrow. I'm, uh, basically kinda getting back to where I was about six months ago. Now that I have the clearance to sort of exercise more regularly, I'm, uh, getting my lifts back up to where they were before, so. Yeah, it's mostly, it's mostly that's where I'm at right now. It's basically sort of getting back in, doing my routines again, and making sure that uh, I'm not going to like hurt myself by just jumping right back into it. The Peller Boy. All right. A witcherly service, that's to say. The Peller is here What again. do you need? Tell me. A man who fears no evil the Peller needs. Forefather's Eve is nigh. We've rights to conduct. Wandering souls to emerge. Damned souls, too. We've the circle to protect from these wretches. What do you need from me? Jeez. Uh, what kind of program? It's like, it's a legs push-pull. So, uh, it's basically legs day, which is like squat and deadlift, and then a bunch of accessory stuff with the legs. And then, like, push, stuff like bench, um, other push things. Pull, there's a lot of rows, pull-ups. Uh, pushes like dips, so yes, ton of steroids, lots of steroids, basically mostly just steroids. Steroids and then sitting on the couch and getting huge. Why hold the ritual at all? At times men die choking with regret. At times death takes. Yeah, what should the subs command be? What is that supposed to? These poor souls, unfulfilled, cannot leave this veil of tears. Their spirits wander midst the living, must be judged, sent on their way. This we do on Forefather's Eve. Let's skip rest and wine day. Oh, well if today's rest day, that, that, mean, that means today's also wine day. That should be a random number like moons. Oh, what does that do? Or do like, do people do the sub command and then that's how many subs they give away? Because if that's the case, then I gotta get that running post haste. So people throw more money at me. What'll I get out of it? Witches do naught for free, this the Pella knows. Not to fear. How to reward one for their aid, this to the Pella Oh, the sub command just shows how many subs you currently have. Oh, oh, okay. What's the point of that? Why would people want to know that? Just so you can compare the relative, like, the relative income of different streamers? That's an interesting thing I never really thought about. Seems like you could use a witcher, so yeah, I'll help. You'd not refuse, the pell on you. The time's come to gather the folk. Eping, gotcha. Across the lake, we just... Huh. 
to fight Isle. That's so strange to me. Of stones we shall meet. I always felt so like we resolve this the better. Best do it tonight. That's how they can calculate a streamer's net worth. Man, that's so I guess I guess it's that stuff is largely visible, but that's that really feels like it um I don't know, usually just don't talk about numbers like that. Makes you uncomfortable. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I guess in, in one way it's like I guess it's good to acknowledge that that's a thing, you know? Why why pretend like money isn't part of this equation, but at the same time it's I don't know, it's weird. I feel like I feel like a, a certain amount of discretion when it comes to like finances and revenue is nice. And also, I wouldn't I mean, I guess to some degree it is always kind of omnipresent because I I do thank verbally thank people for giving me money but i wouldn't want it to be the you know like got eyes like a cat a functional part of the experience if that makes sense i don't know yeah no mods yet no mods yet i i will be installing them soon i was going to do it today but the edit took longer than i thought it would this is this is becoming a growing trend where things just generally take longer than i think they will what's what's ironic is like for a while, it wasn't the, wasn't the case. My my first few edits were really fast. This time, it was because I had two weeks of highlights to look through instead of just one. So everything took a lot longer. Um, scrubbing through all the clips, downloading them all, uh, cutting them down for YouTube. Like, it just took longer. Uh, maybe I sh maybe I should have budgeted for that in my head. But I think the more I do things, the the more I'll get better at uh, at budgeting time. So yeah, streaming confirmed busking. I mean, it is. That's exactly what this is. You're performing to an audience in hopes that they voluntarily give you money, right? Schmagel my bagel. Thank you for the prime sub. Just like that. Thank you. Thank you. I know streamers have sub goals where they play something once they reach a, a milestone. I know Ray had a goal to do Pokemon Stadium 2 Rental Randomizer at 15,000 sub points. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of sub points. Oh man. But the thing is, like, from sub points, you can kind of reverse engineer how much money somebody's making, and that's. Oh, there's a good old fashioned mob. What the heck's going on here? I don't like where this is going. It's a hype uh, hype stream idea. Yeah? That's not a that's not a bad idea, I guess. Anlis, thank you for the the sub. I guess it makes sense though, like To be fair, I subbed out of obligation. You provided so much entertainment for me over the years, it doesn't feel right to not reward your late latent talent. You're really incredible talent. Jesus, Edmund. Thank you. You didn't have to be that nice, but I appreciate it. I mean, I guess that's kind of the ideal... That's the ideal, right? That people like you so much that they're willing and voluntary to to throw money at you. Eric? Eric? Thank you for the prime sub. Um, I don't know though, I've seen, I've seen like in a couple of different circumstances that even if you're well liked enough that people throw money at you, giving people an objective and an incentive and getting them involved in the process is always better. That's why people would always say like, like and subscribe, that call to action, you know, it just works. Scarloco, thank you for the prime sub. That makes sense too. People, people got their own lives, man. They got stuff going on. I'll be back. What? Meet the pillar? Oh, at midnight. Okay. I'll be back. This is creepy, though. I like how all these people had to file in and then take their seats. Oof. Can you talk about your upcoming projects yet? Uh, a little. I mean, there's not much to say, though. I've, um... I talked about it a little bit on another stream, but basically I am talking to some, some interested parties about games editorial content on a few different platforms. Um, digital and, and t television. Greetings. But that's, Just in that's the most worth saying right now, I think. Uh, I don't really want to name the parties or what they that might be because they might fall apart. You know. Soon shall we summon the wandering souls. Beyond all help, some will be. From these, you must protect us. Evil creatures keep at bay. Keep at bay till the ritual's done. That stuff was doing something weird with the lights. Uh, do you get equal benefits from Prime subs as regular subs? Sort of. 
for one month they are identical. So ghost, um, a prime sub is identical to a normal sub, in that you hit you hit the button. What the hell? Are you doing spooky things, Steph? What's going on? Yeah. So sorry. No, it's okay. I'm just curious. I guess that's cozy. Um so yeah, uh, a prime sub and a normal sub, they're both $5. Um, and then that usually gets split 50-50 between Twitch and the streamer. Uh, the difference is that a normal sub will automatically renew every month, whereas a prime sub does not. So you, have, you hit the button once, it goes to that streamer for one month. The next month you get your prime sub back and you have to give it to somebody else, or the same person. A normal sub, you sub normally and then it just, as long as your payment info is, is valid, it just keeps billing uh, every month. Without you having to go back and hit a button, so. And let them not From a streamer's perspective, a normal sub is more valuable because they don't like if you are gone for a month or something, they still get their money. But I never did this quest before. This is this is spooky. Soon will rise thy dead, thy buried. Will ye grant these souls I need a Twitch and I'm really enjoying gaming while watching the gaming? You know what? D-Burge, Beerge, um, I feel the exact same way. On occasion, I sometimes get a little concerned about the fact that I'm basically surrounded by gaming all day, but man, fuck it. I love it, so who cares? Why should I, why should I worry about that? It's fine to want to be surrounded by things that you love. I guess, you know, everything in moderation again. I think you should, even if you love games and love to be surrounded by games, you still need to, I think you should still seek balance in your life. Like, you have to be able to hold a conversation about something that isn't video games. And that, that can be, that can be an issue sometimes. Chump on some raw meat. Not with me, just with people. I mean, I'm a, I'm a professional stuntman, a storied actor. And a, a world-class gamer. So I've 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 seen the sights. I've been around. All right. Crap. Wait, Tony Al isn't what I wanted. Oh, whatever. Now I've got it. Oh, something peeps. Christ, dude. We who wander on the game, ever caught in this world storm. Yeah, Morse. The way I see it, you're working on a bunch of other things as well, so nothing wrong with surrounding yourself with gaming. That's kind of how I see it, you know? Um. Plus, got a lot of, got a lot of GDQ runs to catch up on. The only problem is you don't you run out of time for anime. No Quinn. Didn't need it. Didn't feel like it. Mark, a sound I hear. Tis right. A spirit breaks the still of night. Burn the incense ever higher. Spirit, join us. But yeah, that's it's not a I've been I've been sort of in, in my mind wondering how much I want to try to push asking for subs or incentivizing subs or anything like that. What I want to do is, is see where I land, not doing anything, uh, and then and then sort of gauge my how much I want to incentivize it from there. Who are you? He knows. Should I drive him away? Nice. <laughs> I've come for you, Patricide. Oh dear. Be gone, foul force! I cast upon you the light of the eternal fire! Patricide, you say? Oh. Abomination! Stop this at once! The errant souls! We must help them! 
Silence! I'll not tolerate necromancy. Help me. I mean, it is... Leave now. You're disrupting the ritual. It is easy to intercept on behalf of, like, Nilf Guardians. Disturb the dead. We cannot allow it. Yeah, fuck the eternal fire. That's kind of where I'm at, Nezzy. Think about their customs. Take you and disperse the others. Oh, dear. Lay, 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 lay. Leave not these grounds. You cannot break the circle. Oh, Color's getting in the action now. It's gonna. Color's gonna be like fucking Roshi. He's just gonna come out of nowhere. Oh, he's getting his ass kicked. Wow, that is... Wait, I can parry humans. No. I have to actually parry humans, though. He took care of two of them, though! Blood has stained the hallowed ground. Yet, we cannot stop what has begun. The bloodshed will do any harm. Got carried? Yeah. <laughs> they who thirst for the gore of men shall come. God's willing, they will be few, and the Pella shall finish the right. If you want to continue, I'm ready. Good folk, we must the eve complete. Yeah. Prepare yourselves. Ye we summon, ye we call. Enter souls, we'll judge ye all. Oh, Red, you're going up to work? Hopefully you have a good day. Something Hopefully it, it stimulating, Someone comes and goes easily. No problems. What? Big money. Those fat paychecks. Jesus. Hope you have a good day. Thanks for watching. Rates. Oh dear. This sacred ground is with blood stained. We cannot the ritual complete. People, save yourselves. If your lives you value, run. Oh come on. Don't be so dramatic. Pop for victory. Alas, all is lost. You play Rocket League? Nah. No. Told the witch hunters about the ritual. That game's too intense for me. Spirit they drove away. Your I don't know. I, I just prefer single-player games. I prefer more like likely to keep his quantified challenges than the multiplayer games. Find your jump into streaming interesting. I think about trying to do so myself, but it's neat seeing someone give it a go whilst having pre-established online presence. Well, think about how hard to try to push people to sub, but I feel like with you it just would seem more natural than a fresh start who just partnered. Yeah, I, I definitely... I'm, I'm lucky that I'm able to carry momentum through a lot of things that I do. Um, and lucky that people feel like... Like, paying attention to what those things are, so... Uh, you're right. I, I've wondered about that. If I were to start fresh on Twitch, what would I do? Um, and it'd be, it'd be tricky, I think. Um, to uh, to get people to notice you, you'd have to be extremely consistent, I think, and man, it's tough. Uh, but the thing is, um, the thing is, like, I got I got my momentum by doing a lot of unnoticed work back before there was Twitch. So it's like, every everyone pays their dues. I feel like one way or the other, and just because that wraith called my dues were answer. invisible, he get it right. I still paid him. I'm gonna help you. Did a whole lot of work. Everything. And no one cared about for a long father. time. The Pella does not wish to speak of this. Okay. You can't hope to manage this alone. You're afraid. This Twitch streaming job a labor job. Hold sway over you. I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't call it labor. Listen. I think I'll there are things to be aware of. I've but got to. But I need to know where it's he's. Entertainment, buried. right? Corpse probably hasn't turned to dust yet. That's his bond to the world of the living. Ambrose lies in the swamp. Blue collar Fine. streamers. I'll find his body, see what I can do. What was your worst workday at Rooster Teeth? 
Zmarsh, you understand that I can't I can't possibly answer that in any way, right? What am I what am I gonna say? Actually, you know what? I do have an answer for that. It's when they did the layoffs. That was awful. But I can't say anything else about that. Eh, maybe a couple of things, but I gotta gotta be diplomatic about what I do and don't say. It's clearing up. Streaming is only a labor because once we have the firstborn child on Twitch Live. Ooh, that'll be fun. You never you've never seen a baby get born live, have you? What was your worst work day at Machinima? Gosh. Hmm. I think Rob, the one that's that's popping into my mind. I mean, the day that we, the, our last day in the office was pretty bad. Um, like te tempers were kind of high all around. No one, uh, no one was really kind of making it easy. We didn't really have. We had friends, like the people we worked with, we would consider friends. But certainly, I wouldn't say any of management of the rest of the company were really our friends. So they did not give us the warmest send off. And I think, like, that day, too, we had, we were reporting on something. We were reporting on some FTC violation guideline thing. And we actually mentioned that Machinima got fined for not abiding by FTC guidelines way back when with the Xbox One campaign. And that, like, caused all sorts of problems. People, like, me... People in the executive staff were like yelling at us and stuff to take it out and we were like, man, whatever. It's like, it's topical, it's news reporting. It's within our editorial purview to like cover this stuff and, t and talk about related stories. And the people were insisting that it wasn't related, so. That was a testy day, but I was also like, I was also leaving, it was the last day, so I didn't care. I did not care about any of that stuff. Um, the worst day I think was when my then manager we were doing yearly reviews and my then manager called me in and did the did the like the bullshit thing of like sorry bud i really tried but we just couldn't give you we did couldn't limp, we couldn't get there's no money man we just don't still got any money sorry bud and like i was i think i was getting paid like 37 38000 dollars something outrageously small which to make a go of it in LA on that amount of money was a challenge but i made it i made it happen um but like gave me like a 500 dollar raise and, and if, if I had cared more, I would have, like, stayed and argued and tried to negotiate, but I didn't. I already knew that that place was full of just, like, shitty money bro assholes that, you know, they didn't care about me. I wasn't in front of the camera. It wasn't anything. I was, I was, I think I was writing the daily at that point, but that was not a skill that anyone at Machinima valued. Um, yeah. Uh, so, I remember... That day was bad, because I, I just felt particularly insulted. And if, like I said, if I cared more, I would have I would have tried to fight it, but I just didn't have the endurance. I was already, I was already done with that place and most of the people that worked there. Um, because man. What a, what a collection of just... I've, I've seen this cycle happen so many times too, where like... Uh, something accidentally earns a lot of money. In Machinima's case, it was like Call of Duty gameplay videos. Uh, then somebody acquires it. Then they start bringing in a lot of a lot of money bros that talk a good game but don't know what they're doing. The money bros bring in all their money bro friends. So then you just have a bunch of idiot money bros that are really good at burning money, but they don't understand the product or what made the company work in the first place. And then the ego sets in of, of like, well, if, we, if we've if we conquered this one realm of media, why can't we conquer them all? So you have one thing that works, and suddenly you think you can do movies and TV, and and uh, suddenly you think that, like, your banner talent is more banner than they are. And, yeah, you, you start to think that you can play in larger pools. And then people start to leapfrog the process. They think that, like, since they don't want to, like, put in the 10 years of sustainable business work, so instead they just start burning giant checks to throw big parties to pretend like they're the kinds of company that can do that, but they're not, and none of it's sustainable. And to some degree, it is all kind of a game, too, to get acquired. Um, so that that much at least makes sense to me, but I do think a lot of it is, too, just people love spending money and, and pretending to be big shots for a little bit. 
So that's that's phase two. Act two is the, is the fun one when all the all the money bros have all the money in the world to burn, and there's no paper trail and no one's no one's like doing anything or being held accountable for anything. And then phase three, when the money starts to run out and the executives get pushed out and replaced with other people who come in and then try to make the business work. The problem is there are money bros at every phase of the game now, and they're all used to burning cash. And you can't just turn that around. Like, you can't come in and just fire everyone. I guess you could, but that would look even worse, especially if you're trying to get acquired. So then, it's time to tighten the belt. And no one likes doing that. No one. And that's when that's when teams turn feral. Once there's competition for resources or money, um, once, like, bad ideas start... Producers start saying no to bad ideas, because they should have all along, but they weren't. Then the resentment pops in, and like, well, they got to do their thing, why didn't I get to do my thing? People turn into each other, and... Oh, I'm not talking about RT. Although, I mean, I did say it was a pattern. Uh, one that I've seen repeated multiple times at multiple companies, so... Uh, you said before you didn't have any hard feelings towards RT, uh, but it sounds like you might have got some half-chub feelings at least. Careful, sir. A monster prowls the bark. RT's a company. It's silly to have hard feelings towards a company, is what I will say. This monster, tell me more. Only seen it once myself. And that from afar and So yeah, phase three is not the fun one. That's when like then it turned. And that's, I that's when it just gets hostile. Like and that's when the workplace the gets bad. One next to the other. Humanoid. And it happens so gradually that man. Hmm. It's hard to roast attack. It's Humanoid. sad when you like <clears throat> you think one day when everybody was like supportive and friendly and then it's just it was then bore and vanished. Not that at all Eric anymore. And Tommil went looking for him, didn't come back either then too. I were feared. Trying to get me to break my NDA. Venture into the no. Uh, I guess it's a non-disparage agreement. Yeah. Pete there, master. It's the best sort. Black as pitch and oil. Bob Actor, thank you. Fuel and fascinating. The big ore TV. Thank you for the prime set. I can help for a fee. Course. Why even an auction? I don't know how, like how people act. It's just a business, but I learned to accept it. What do you mean? I'll need more than an ox needs. How much are you willing to pay exactly? Sounds to me like it's kind of what is happening at Funhouse. I so Cronus, uh, this is hundred percent truth. I actually don't know what's happening at Funhouse and haven't for a while. All of twenty nineteen, I was I was head down trying to make Inside Gaming a thing, so I genuinely that don't I know. Do not have. Would a few crowns less satisfy? Is communism the only way to live eventually? No, oh, capitalism does okay. It does well enough. Oh, master, it's not ideal. It's got issues for sure, but it but so be it's it. pretty uh, preferable to, to oh, some of the alternatives. I got to work. Where I find this monster? Start south of here. But yeah, just to hopefully to dispel any error. I did not have enough visibility in anything going on specifically at Rooster Teeth to even make comments like that. I was not a part of any of those conversations. Not a part of any of that stuff. So. That's, again, like I said before, me just disclosing what I don't know. But I, I, that's, just a, that's just a cycle I've seen at tons of new media companies. 100% at Machinima. That was, that was the playbook. That, Machinima was the one that taught me the playbook, and then I, I saw it happening at other companies too. So, yeah. But on CV chat was terrible. Yeah, it turns out, <laughs> turns out a 24-hour uh, community-moderated uh, chat room it's just too much, too much to ask anyone to, to try and corral, I think. I think to make that work, you would have to, you'd really have to like have a paid staff of like two or three people on deck all the time to make it go. And I feel bad because the community really did volunteer a lot of time and self-organized really well, but. Uh, can people, oh, so Baron, yeah, no, nobody was asking me about that. It's, um. Uh, if you had hard feelings for yourself, yeah, no, it's it's okay. I, I don't think you need to be frustrated at anyone in particular uh, in in the chat for like prompting the discussion. And you know what? There's no need to dwell on it. I prefer not to not to sit on negative thoughts anyway. In any way. Ah, some shadies. Don't uh, don't tell me exactly where things are, please. That's gonna happen though. But yeah, we're witching here. Oop. I want, I want it. I want that sack. 
It was your worst moment in gaming? Oof. For example, I just lost my Skyrim save with 2,500 hours or hardware died? Hmm. Hmm. That's a good question. Let me think about that. I broke a controller over Odin's Sphere. That was like the last time I think I genuinely raged out at a game. Uh... I got pretty mad at some StarCraft matches. Like, like, hands shaking kind of like worked up. Because I, that, like, playing StarCraft, man, it requires you to amp yourself up so much. Like, you have to play so fast and so intensely that when you lose, like, all that adrenaline is just bashing through your system. So, I remember not liking that feeling. Um... I, I remember playing fighting games a lot with my bros back in the day, and I'm not proud of, like, I was not a good loser uh, back then, and to some degree I'm still not. Um, so, uh, I think I'm better at it now, but I'm not proud of how, of how I acted back then or, or the way that it made me behave, or the way that I behaved in those circumstances. Uh, I don't know. It's been a. Aside from that, it's actually been a lot of a lot of really pleasant memories. <laughs> Air guitarist, thanks for the prime sub. Also, Bob actor SD, thank you, thank you for the sub. Have your streams keep it going. I will, I will. I'm blessed enough to to have people that want to hang out here and feel like donating their time and money. Incredible. You haven't taken a pee break in forever. Now I actually have to pee right now. I'm <laughs> I'm just trying to find this. Uh, Trying to find this uh, this thing. Yeah, I guess it's been two hours. That's been a while. No, I, I'm staying hydrated. I'm I'm gripping, sipping. Oh, we got 666 viewers. Hell yeah! Uh, but Quaker Oats guy, thank you. Oh, thank you for uh, keeping my health in mind. There we go. Uh, but I'll save. I'll use the restroom. It's just che for me. It's cheese. Cheese gets me s or chess. Oh, chess. Sorry. Uh, yeah. A game that you really care about and really like engages your mind, man. It it can. I've never gotten so amped than either winning or losing uh, a really intense game of StarCraft II. Um, and I don't know that I ever want to get that. Oh, it is cheese. Oh, okay. Cheese doesn't bother me, if that makes sense, because cheese is so binary. Like I never feel actually defeated if I get if I lose to cheese. To me, um, somebody's cheesing, whether it's in a fighting game or if it's in like StarCraft or something like that. To me, losing to cheese is like losing to a boss fight. You know, it's like oh, okay, you did something that I wasn't expecting. It's the first time I've seen that, and because it's all you do, you're really good at it. Um, what's exciting is when you learn enough cheese that like, especially in StarCraft, if you can outlast somebody's cheese move, like they're only used to ten minute matches. Um, most of the guys I would play that, sorry, people, I should be gender, gender neutral. Most of the people I played that would cheese, it was great. If you could like survive their cheese, they would quit immediately because they weren't interested in playing a long game. But the really fun thing was when you could outlive the cheese and then they had no tools left. And then I could play the game I wanted to play, which is like reacting on the fly and building and expanding and, and switching my units and like researching stuff and being sneaky and like, those were the fun games because then I got to sort of bat around somebody who wasn't used to playing in the realm I was used to playing in. Which was trying to adapt on the fly and learn the full game as opposed to just the first 10 minutes. Uh, same with fighting games too. Once you once you know that someone's doing the same combo over and over, it's funny too to, to ride that, that balance, especially if you're playing online and, and you're playing with like butt mashers or something. Or somebody who just learned like two combos. Because if you start punishing it every time, they'll learn to stop. But if you if you block it or you let it hit through here and there, they'll still think it's working. And then you can just whittle them down. I love that shit. I love when you like, you let someone think that they're doing okay, but you're really just like, you're giving them just enough to make them not change their strategies. Nah, I love it, I love it. That that stuff is intoxicating. I did some of that stuff with like Street Fighter 4 back in the day, a little bit with 5, I didn't play 5 very much. Uh, MK11 is, is awesome since it has dialogue combos, like you get the Scorpion who just does the high-low combo over and over again. And you let it hit you once or twice, just so they think it's still working, but you can still just wipe the floor with them, it's great. Terran protesters erg. I was always Terran. That was my thing. Converse, you going to sleep? Cool. Alright, I have to use the restroom. Badly. Any interest in streaming Smash Brothers? Yeah, I gotta get back into it now that the, uh, the DLC is done. I finally beat World of Light. So I can just do, like, Spirit Board or something. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. Okay.
There. A little bio break. A little bio break for you. Swamp's Back at it though. Body in good shape. Did it? Swamps do that? Even where the Peller smashed his head in. Jesus. Got incinerated. That ought to get the Spectre to leave. Yeah, no, I waited for the last clip to be over. Leave the world of the living. Never return again. This is a pee break or a hobbit ruined my life up break? What? Would you want to travel with Geralt for a year in the Witcher universe as a Witcher yourself or be a Witcher in the Middle Ages for a year? Wait, what? So the difference is I'm either with Geralt or I'm not? I feel like two Witchers better than one, right? Might as well go over here while I'm here. Uh, what Fire Emblem character will you be maining? Um, Marth or Girl Marth? Marth 2 or Marth 3? And then when are you, Oh, in the Witcher universe versus in real life. Probably... Hmm. Probably in the Witcher universe since there's like magic and stuff. Real life is just bubonic plague. What you hammering there? Hard at work? Oop, oop! Nicked your finger. Gotta be careful. That's okay. Just get back at it, huh? Yeah, this... This is me killing time until my lunch break. You working hard over there? Oh yeah, real hard, boss. If it was real life, there'd be nothing to witch? Yeah, pretty much. Alright, make this one count. Oh! 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 Got it. I asked this question a bit before you went to go pee, but when you left RT, you said you'd see if streaming full-time is at all a possibility? We're gonna spend about a month with your thoughts on full-time streaming now. Uh, it's going to take more than a month to figure it out. Um, so, the way that goes is basically... I'm using this time. This odor. You, almost. I'm using this time to see what... Uh, Faster. Like, what kind of audience and what kind of revenue I get from streaming. Um, and then I'll compare that to the rates that contracting projects would pay. And then just see what wins, really. Um, it's kind of the goal, so if if I end up making just ass loads of cash streaming, and it's really fun, and I really enjoy it, and can do some fun stuff, then there's not a whole lot of reason for me to, to take on, you know, bigger is maybe not the best word for it, but other projects with other, other parties, just keep doing this. And just kind of keep funneling my creativity and my time into, into producing streams. Um, so we'll see. Uh, that, that, that process is still happening, though, because... I, I basically just crossed a month, so I'm starting to get more of a sense of what what I can expect in terms of uh, just in terms of monthly finances. It all it is also just sort of like figuring out what your day rate is. Would you do both? That's that fried coffee. That's that's the plan right now. Um, I'm I'm currently in talks to do contracting work for for you know larger media projects, um, stuff that isn't just me playing a video game and being foul mouthed on Twitch. To stun him. That doesn't mean you can. There we go. Okay, you parry. You get a. You get a hit. No. Oh, his shield arm. Hey, what's up, Angel Frame? Uh, welcome. So yeah. Um, I haven't. I guess I haven't landed on a. Oh, a Scoytel sword. That's that's pretty good, I think. Haven't landed on an ultimate. Uh, solution there, so as far as what I'm going to be doing, because that's still kind of in flux. Um, and uh, I mean, even outside of production work, it is it is my secret desire that I can get something going with performance. Either you know, I mean, being like a being cast in some YouTube stuff would be fun. Uh, hosting some things, being guests on stuff, doing commercials, community theater, whatever, that'd be fun. Uh, so we'll see if it works. We'll see if it works. Well, you have to liquidate your assets to pay pay for your bills. It depends. It depends. I'm living I'm living pretty large these days. Pretty large. I have I have white claws in the fridge. I'm not drinking right now. So things are going pretty well for your old pal Lawrence. Oh, kind of funny. 
up in Frisco? Oh, San Francisco. Sorry, not Frisco, Texas. Uh, yeah, I think... I mean, I think if I were to do that, I'd have to pay to fly up there. And then... And then I'm paying money to go to San Francisco, and that's silly. Also, uh... Rudy, I was told to inquire about some work. I'll, I'll, I'll send you a message. We need a lore emote. And there's no one more qualified. Yeah, booze just sitting around. Yeah, it's it's crazy, right? <coughs> that used to never be the case. It was it was very hand to mouth. Back in the uh, making under forty thousand dollars a year at at Machinima days, it was buying like the cheapest, largest jugs of uh, soju I could from the Korean grocery store. Go, go. Which I'm not gonna lie, I remember those days fondly still. Ooh, lore bots a while back. I'm listening. Wait, Greg's moving. Oh, never mind. God, Gre Greg Miller in Texas. Faster. Operating a business is probably cheaper there, but he seems like he seems so attached to Northern California. Move it. Yeah, 40k in uh, in now. in LA. I was lucky actually. I found a pretty cheap apartment in Koreatown because of course, but it was a nice place. It was like a good building. Um, just gotta got a monthly bus pass. You can. You can make- you can get by with not a lot of money, really. Um, you just take the bus everywhere. And, uh, eat cheap at home. Eat and drink at home. So yeah, I can sketch some stuff on break this weekend. Oh, just DM me if you have specific ideas. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, um... I- I- some very slight ideas, nothing too- nothing too specific. I would trust I would trust your inspiration more. I think I think the trick is, um, and this is something that I trust you know an artist more than me, is that it has to be expressive but also functionally legible at when it's very very small. That's uh that's 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 how it gets tricky. So things like contrast are important. This is making it really tiny in Photoshop and then like backing way away to make sure you can still see what it says. As a freelance video editor, it's pretty reasonable to survive on 12k if you weren't in a big city. $12,000 a year? Wow. That's $1,000 a month. How How is that possible? I, I guess if you're splitting a place with somebody else, you may get your rent down to like three fifty. But then there's bills and food and yeah, boy, that's a razor tight budget. Ugh. You ever see yourself ever moving to a different state or country if you can find yourself living a lot better there? Like, moving to Georgia for those cheap houses. Uh, it's interesting. Yeah, there's, like, that is kind of the streamer playbook, isn't it? Go for streamer full-time, then move to Texas because it has no income tax and the housing's cheap. Um, odds are low, simply because I really love living in Los Angeles, and so does Stephanie. We just really like it here. Um, I could see over the course of my life, maybe, but for now... I really, really like it. Aw, oh, Vic, you don't like California? Man, I love Cali. Unless you just don't want people moving here. <laughs> it's called not making enough to pay taxes. Yeah, that might be a factor too. Minimum wage is 725. Oh, in Texas? I think California, it's up to 15, isn't it? California's great, it's just expensive. Yeah, that was like, I had all of my friends telling me that before I moved out here, but it. It's, I mean, it really is, you're, you can, this is going to sound really bad, but it isn't, it is amazing what people, what you can adapt to and actually be comfortable in. So like, yeah, I mean, I guess getting around was a little more expensive, but then I got a bus pass and I was like, whatever, I have a phone, I can read books. This is what I'd be doing anyway. Um, so like, I got a lot of reading done, listened to a lot of podcasts, saved a lot of money. Um... Would buy groceries at the Korean grocery store. Got a, got like ate a lot of new food. Developed a good taste for soju. Uh, it wasn't that bad. Let's go. It's like you, I, 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 I shouldn't speak out of my depth here. In my experience, in my life, um, I found that you can still live a pretty good life, focusing on the simple things. There's a lot of waste that you can trim out of your life and not really notice once you adapt. I think. There are some, like, non-negotiables. Like, you have to have internet, you have to have a cell phone. But, I don't know. Like, you don't need to go out to a bar and rack up a $40 
tab on cocktails. You can learn to make it at home. Um, like make your own fruit juice, make your own mixers, like... It's not that hard, and especially with YouTube, man, you can look up anything. And you're not going to be good at it the first time, but... I guess it's just... Are you still eating healthy? I was eating okay, but I was drinking a lot more. I hadn't, hadn't quite uh, disposed of that habit yet. So, but I was drinking at home. So I was saving that. Yeah, straight up not drinking at all. It's a waste of money for sure. But like, I don't know, when you, you know, when your entertainment options are limited because of your budget, um, then like drinking and watching movies at home becomes a pastime. But yeah, you're right, you're right. Bring back binge drinking Lawrence. And he's still in there somewhere. I, uh, I mean, binge drinking is, is super unhealthy and I, I wouldn't recommend anyone doing it, but... Like I said, I still, I still believe thoroughly in indulgence every so often. Got a on my fitness at work? Yeah! Didn't have the heart to say I'm not in shape. Well, if you're losing weight, that's still a step in the right direction. Don't bring back binge drinking, Lawrence. Yeah, I don't think it... I don't think it's necessarily the best look. Uh... But still, it's it's fun to go to go crazy on it once every six months or so. Rufus Rufus Mullen, thank you for the prime sub, and also I think D Beard, I think I said thank you. I did, yeah. White wolf, wise wolf, what is it the wolf needs? One drunk stream per week, woof. I uh, yeah, I need to do um maybe maybe sometime in February I'll do another drunk stream. Or maybe with uh, Animal Crossing? That'd be fun. Oh, I'd have to f come up with the Animal Crossing rules. And I don't even know what, like... Maybe it's like every time an animal... Like, throws shade at you? Hmm. Yeah, hangovers are your punishment for trying to have too much fun, for sure. And those are kicking harder and harder as the years go by. For sure. The optics of overindulgence are hard to erase. Yeah, you mean just like body fat? <laughs> Folk from the village come here often? Oh, when help they need, the Pella they seek. Help with what? With the dead that come a-haunting, peace must be made. But they must then wait for Forefather's Eve. Or oh, Drunk Doom! Oh! Homestead. Drive the spirit off the Pella can. That's a good idea. If I needed, say, a love potion. Then to the witch you would be sent. Not a matter for the Pella, that. Yeah, uh, maybe like, drink for death, start on Nightmare? Hmm. Show me what you got. I shot every time you die in Ultra Nightmare? Oof. I'm not gonna start with Ultra Nightmare. I wanna actually play the game, I'm really excited for it. Man, you have a lot of stuff. Oh, White Gull, yeah. I was told that I needed... That's somewhat expensive, but I think I can afford it. Ah! What is this? Oh, bombardier. Okay. It's actually it's actually pretty intense. There are a a lot of the beginner achievements in, in Witcher 3 are common, at least by um by good old games standards. And and sometimes in games like this, and that's not even the case. Achievements you get like 15 to 20 hours in, people just don't get. We all know beating the game on Ultra Nightmare isn't playing the game. Yeah, it's a it's a different a different experience altogether for sure. Probably skewed higher on GOG. Yeah, kids ghost. That's a I think a reasonable assumption. If do more liquor, which would it be? Um, boy, there's a lot of oh that could go a lot of different directions. Unreso, thank you for the prime sub. Oh, okay, Rudy. Uh, have an early shift, so good night, good stream. Well, thank you. And yes, we will be nice to each other, I promise. Zmarsh, thanks for the sub. Uh, yeah, Fireball feels accurate. Only because of the branding and the color, not because of the flavor. What liquor burns the most? That would be like Moonshine, or like Cask Strength Whiskey. Hmm. Brutal Doom High and Drunk? Oh my gosh. Ever yeah, Everclear. Yep, you're right. Nailed it. Everclear. And like Texas Everclear too. 95% booze. For some reason Everclear in California is only 70%. So... Yeah, lamp oil. Oh, <laughs> yeah, thinking about the lighthouse. I'll strip the... Uh... Oh, can't do Fireball anymore from a specific drunk memory? Yeah, Fireball seems to have 
have done a lot to people over the years. Sugary booze is lays a lot of people low. The Irish hand grenade from Letterkenny. Had Montana Everclear very hard stuff, couldn't drink much of it. You're not supposed to drink it. Oh yeah, hand sanitizer. Ugh. I mean, you're supposed to drink it, don't get me wrong, but you're supposed to mix it with something. 90% some Dr. Pepper is the Texas special. Dude, KB, that was my drink when, mostly when I lived in Texas. Dr. Pepper 10 and Everclear. It actually goes together super well. Found your father's body. Had to burn it. True chains. Thanks for the prime Return son. for me, ye would have. What's your story? You actually killed your father? It was an evil man. The Pella feared him once, but then grew brave. What his father did to his oh, mother. God. The Pella Holy cat, thank you for the cheer. Will you be attending any cons this year? RTS or otherwise outside of California are too soon to say. It's a little too soon to say. Um, new. I would, uh, I'm trying to get, I applied for a pass to GDC. I know that probably isn't what you're talking about. More like the PAXs and things like that. I should probably go to TwitchCon. Um, yeah. I really do like going to cons. I like going to cons, meeting people. It's just a cool scene, you know? So I'll see, I'll see what, what my time and finances are like. Um, at the final boss of Doom, playing Doom 2016 on hard, any quintessential gamer tips? Um, you know, ultra violence? Uh, I guess just dodge a lot. And, uh, the, the platforms will usually release ammo and health if you shoot them. So you don't have to wait for the boss to break them. You can break them yourself. Uh, turn the music up is a really good tip. Uh, but yeah. I uh, can't do fireball anymore. Oh, shoot, I missed it. Sorry, it scrolled off. But yeah. Ghost's not likely to also, come uh, just Thank glitch you. the BFG. A reward for your aid. And if herbs or remedies you ever need, for near nothing you will have them from me. Oh, he gives me a discount now? That's good. Ah! Oh, not yet? Moving in your chair usually helps with dodging. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta huh, you gotta huh, whoo, give him the old Heisman in your gamer chair. Oh, can't do fireball anymore? Oh, thank you. Because when I was taking a shot, my friend made me laugh and cough and it went up my nose. Oh, no. It went into your sinuses. Oh, no. That's the White worst. Wolf. Wise wolf. What is it the wolf needs? But yeah, we got, we got us a little hia action going on. Hia! A few potion ingredients. Show me what you I got. I should have waited until I turned in that quest to buy that stuff. Oh, well, whatever. Whatever. I don't actually know how much of a discount he's giving me, so who knows. Oh, I can sell these glyphs, though. Yeah, he'll buy this stuff. Not for much, though. Hmm. 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 Oh, well. Maybe they're just garbage glyphs. We'll say that. Could always buy horse equipment and sell it back to him for less money. That's a good idea, Nutty. I am, uh... So I don't mean to brag, but... Kind of a champion at that particular strategy. I'm kind of really good at doing that. Gotta sell that loot. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go to... I'm gonna go talk to the Baron right now, so... There is an armorer here. I can, uh, I can ditch some of my junk. Hopefully I haven't ran that dude out of all of his money already. Actually, wait... I also forgot. Ah, uh, no, everything's already max level. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really close to my carry weight limit. Wow. I would say Gliss is a dude in the first DLC who pays a lot for it. I mean, Prod. Well, I appreciate your uh, your efficiency. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna hang on to Glyphs for the whole game, just to squeeze out a little more coin. You know. Oh, Deep Beard. Thank you for um. Thank you for sending your sub. Go to Oxenford first. I'm not going to, because if I were playing without Twitch chat, this is what I would do. So I'm going to do that. You know? Sunshine, thank you for the cheer. I don't... I try to play games as though I'm playing it with my own mind. Uh, yeah, well, you know, with a... I guess to, to a degree. I don't think it would occur to me on my own to, like... Good lord. To, uh... Go. To just try to swim into the city. 
That makes sense. To his chat commands. <laughs> Buy the recipes and upgrade the runes, uh, for your Grandmaster gear? Oh, the recipes for the better runes? Not a bad idea. Sounds, sounds, uh, sounds valid. See, like, but if I were, if I were in my own Lawrence brain, I wouldn't even know that there is Master Gear. So how would I know to hang on to it, you know? Uh, what's up, Cole? Welcome. I played a few Bullet Hells. Uh, that's, that's a genre that I've always respected but never really got into myself. Uh... I usually don't send my secrets to just anyone, but if you invest in cryptocurrencies and stocks, you'll be rich. Ooh. Now that is a hot tip. How may I assist you? Also, holy cat, thank you for gifting a sub. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. It's not worth it. You'll find the good runes eventually when you're high enough level to get Grandmaster gear. Well, boy, we got a. Sounds like we got some infighting in chat then. Y'all gotta. Y'all gotta come to a consensus about. How to most effectively min-max this game. That's level 14 and it only does one more damage? Guess I might as well hang on to it. Oh yeah, this sells for an ass load of money. Bang. Oh, I can equip this now. Ah. Alright. Alright! Let's sell this other saddle. One that I definitely did not just buy, and I'm selling directly back. That's not what's happening right now. Absolutely not. How silly. How silly and stupid. So long. Oh yeah, I... I level. I wonder if there's new gear at level nine. I feel like there was something I could equip. Cool. I can sell that sword. My advice is hoard the runes you like the effects of. Buy the upgrades for those. If you want to have them strong early, then sell the rest. Mister Doctor Professor Sir Esquire, that is the most balanced my uh, tip that I've seen so far. The most accurate, I feel like. here yeah I um uh, I don't know I'm uh I'm still kind of of the opinion that I don't need to try that hard because <laughs> these um uh, every all the combat seems pretty easy so far let me see if there's any level 9 equipment that I can oh I can make some pants look at these pants the little furfy pants all right Lennon's See if I can get rid of any junk. Any other junk in my inventory? Linen. Need threads. Mm. Yeah. Pretty sure. Huh. Pretty sure nothing is gonna give me linen. I might as well just buy it. It's always nice to kind of look through and see if I can. It kind of scratches that hoarding itch, you know? You're like, I gotta have everything, just in case I need to craft with it later. But it, it's really not that big of a deal. All right, let's make some pants. Let's make some hot pants, bang. Whew! Trackers trousers. Someone's being a huge dick, back to gaming, I'ma time you out. Yeah, call it, call is more mean on that stuff than I am, so y'all gotta watch yourselves. Yes. Yes. Sure, why not? Why not? Oh, I gotta repair my stuff too. How may I assist you? Gonna miss Nibbles the cat first appearance? What? What? I don't look at your stuff. How long have you been streaming? About three hours at this point. I don't, don't want to miss Nibbles. Watch about three hours of your ultra violence or ultra nightmare run on YouTube. Love the VOD. Ah, Shark, thank you. That's a long ass video, so thank you for uh thank you for attempting to get in there. Also, what's up, Una? Oh remember me. No. Stable hand. Oh. Pulled you out of the fire. 
We'll never forget that. Here. I'm grateful. I'll take that money, thank you. Alright, that's nice. That's neat. Hey, hey. Don't give cock back you said my sorry Little prick. Oh, hello, Tidan. Hey, Tidan! What's up? Thanks for saying hi. Hopefully you're doing okay. You. Yeah, simple Jack. I'll tell you where the loop's at. Sorry? Oh. Your mate split the loop between them long ago. Oh. That's what I would have done. And you, shut it now. Save your strength. Die with some dignity. What's up, Una? Been here all stream? Ah. Yeah, no, I'm 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 pretty hard a hard lurker most of the time, so. Been playing your Doom Progress for ages on YouTube. Decided to honor your success by hopping over to Twitch for the first time ever and giving you a sub. Oh, thank you, Rufus. Uh, for the hours of Crake. Uh, is that how you say it? Crack? Congratulations on beating it. P.S. Back to Booze. Pronounced Poachin. Ooh, an Irish moonshine that you should try if you ever make it over here. I would love to. Um, trying regional liquors is... Is so... Is so fun. Because it's like you can taste the history. You can take a sip and just be like, wham! You can just feel the entire culture and the history of all the people who drank that stuff. Um, oh, I think it says a lot about a... Uh, it says a lot about a culture, the things they choose to get fucked up on. So... I will keep that in mind. And also, happy drinkings to you. Hopefully you, hopefully you have a good evening. May your, may your hangovers tomorrow be light and passing. Are you in this... Huh, he's outside. Alright, never mind. Carol's striped quilted armors look so dorky, like his mom made them. Yeah. No, the price for that. He's the fanciest, most special boy. It's picture day at Witcher School. <laughs> They're painting portraits at Kaer Morin. And Geralt's mom was like, You're gonna wear the nice shirt I got for you. Aww. Witcher. A word, please. Believe we've not had the pleasure. They call me the sergeant. Left over from my army days, you understand. When me and Philip, meaning the Baron, served under a Temerian banner. Wanted to ask you about something. What is it? Yeah, that's in your hit is just for him. Wanted everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is. Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Hmm. Drunk. No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. Sake is really smooth, doesn't have the bite like whiskey or vodka. Yeah. It doesn't quite have the alcoholic burn. Um, it's it's got a sort of fruity quality, kind of similar to wine. Uh it's I mean it it's it's rice liquor, and it's really like you don't know what that means until you taste it, and then immediately you're like, oh, that's what liquor tastes like when it's made out of rice. So, like, it makes so much sense. Um, and the sweetness kind of comes from the... I don't know. It tastes exactly like what you think it would, which doesn't make any sense until you uh, you actually have some. So, But yeah, drinking hot sake on a cold day is so nice. Yeah, I remember... Uh, oh, man, there, there were so many moments from when Stephanie and I went to Japan that are just too perfect. Um, oh, juices. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for converting your prime sub to a sub sub. Uh, it's a bit late, so I'm gonna do, like, a hardball and bounce. Nice. Before that, I was wondering if you'd heard of an artist called, uh, Sewer Slut? And that's just how to use them, you'd imagine. Found them out pretty recently. They seem right down your alley. Is it music? No, I'm not familiar with it. I drink soju. It's got usually high alcohol content. Uh, though it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, soju is great, too. Soju is like sake. But without even the little twinge of it tasting like fermented rice. Soju is pretty much just pure, pure, pure deliciousness. Um, man, it's great. There you are. I love soju so much. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Uh, Jiggle, Jiggles wants pie. Yeah, I am planning on playing the DLC. She's on having them. Spent hours Show feet. To you got it. Trimming, pruning. There. She was so content at that. It's right here. And then it's not my fault if it's not on camera. That's your fault. You got to upgrade. Called Birds of Paradise in Zerikania. Everyone who has Tomorrow, Twitch Ultra dragon. has the extended viewing angle to see my feet. She so them. you're gonna have to never learn. gonna have to pry open that wallet. Sub for the fifty dollars a month oh, Twitch Ultra subscription. 
Uh, but yeah, uh, Memory of Japan, sorry. Uh, it was bitingly cold, because we went during winter, which was awesome. Oh, so magical. But, um... Uh... I remember we also we met up with one of Stephanie's old friends from uh, a game development studio she used to work with. He ended up moving to Japan, married a, married someone there. Um, so we hung out with him for a little bit, which was great. He showed us this like punk rock bar where they actually served like liquor, which is kind of kind of a hard thing to find, like actual like a good hard drink. Um, and they had like cool posters all over the walls. And they had a projector showing Akira, and there was like seating for six, like most bars in Japan. Um, so we were just kind of having some drinks and, and Stephanie and he and this guy were catching up on old times. Um, and I was just sort of absorbing the entire, the entire vibe. And then he got a text from his wife and apparently there was a festival happening just like right around the corner. So we just walked outside, walked through this alleyway, took a left and then boom, it was just like a traditional Japanese Matsuri. Like there were, there were hanging lanterns on this giant tower and people were like, there's all this music and it would, and there were all these stalls. And I remember one of the stalls sold hot sake and fish. Uh, so I went up, you know, bought my stuff. And yeah, it was a, a cup of warm sake and then a fish, just like a whole fish skewered on a stick and, and like fried. So basically just like took swigs of sake and just ate the fish like fin to head, just chomping on the whole thing. Because it was fried, so it was like it was, you, you could actually do that. Um, and man, what a what an amazing memory! I uh, the thing that the thing that I think back on and cringe just a little bit is you're not supposed to walk and eat in Japan. Um, it's rude because you might spill, and then uh, put an unsightly stain on the concrete or something like that. Uh, yeah, no, it was straight out of an anime. It, it is ridiculous how often that happened. Uh, so I was walking through the crowd holding my my food item and my drink like some kind of terribly uh, inconsiderate foreigner, but. Uh, Man, it was so good. The other weird thing about Japan is there's no trash cans anywhere. You just have to hold your trash until you go home. Um, which means if uh, if there's ever any like public outside gathering of trash, people put all of their trash there. So if like one person puts out a cardboard box, it's instantly filled with stuff and just like there's crap all around it. Uh, or 7-Eleven, yeah. Oh, Red, thank you for gifting a sub. Um, so yeah. Did you wake up late for your train and have toast in your mouth? I did. And then I, I ran into a cute boy uh, on the way there. <sighs> Crazy. How many times have you been to Japan? Just the one time. You're lost. There, see, now he's being nice. Hurt. Bad. But there wasn't anything we could do. No. Not now. Not anymore. It was too late. That was clear. Should have acted earlier. Taking them all from this damned felon. In this hole. This reesty mire. Nothing could go right here. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. So yeah, I feel like actually, hmm. I would have to tell him where she is in order to get a pass to get into that city. Your daughter's in Oxenford. Damn it! What the place is? She alright? Okay. In good health? Now I see why they were telling me to go to her first. You brought her back? Yeah. Never offered to do that. Hmm. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? When was the point of the trip when you tripped and fell face first into the cleavage of a girl with triple G cup titties? Wasn't that kind of anime? From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again. No intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. At least we didn't get to that episode yet. Whoever it is helped her. I need to know for certain oh, she's safe. Reload a save. No, I'm gonna play it through. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't yeah. anyone else. Twerp Tane, other people were saying you can um People were saying that you could do. you could swim into Oxenford. I'm grateful. But... Take this, call it enticement, and this might prove useful. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the That's okay. Delta, I'll play it out. Damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Um. Very well. You were to find them both. What have Anna learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Siri, like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. Hold on. 
When Siri was on the main, this is important story stuff. I gotta... thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. Ooh, flashback. He miss nibbles the cat. What? I don't, I don't know what that is. Pure look in the flesh. Are the Japanese people kind? Did they give off friendly vibes? Um. Why? Worthy of one of King Fox's The people who were working were polite. The people who weren't working basically just pretended I wasn't there, which is fine too. Um. Our haunt should be yours as I see it. It's phenomenally easy to be a tourist in Japan. Oh, you're doing well. Because, yeah, nobody will try to engage with you because they just don't do that. Um, and in, um, in retail circumstances, paying for things is super easy, and most menus are have a lot of pictures on them, so you can just point at what you want. And as long as you know just, like, the most basic navigational phrases of Japanese... That's enough. You know, if you just, if you know the courtesy, and if you are just super polite and soft-spoken, um, the friendliness isn't really the same in Korea. Yeah, the Japanese, I think, are a little too subdued to be outright rude. In fact, it's against, it's, it's like against their whole culture. They're very live and let live, almost typically to a fault. Um, but, uh, but yeah, um, it was, it was actually pretty easy. I mean, everyone in Tokyo minds their own business. Um, yeah, Japan's pretty xenophobic still, but we'll never let on. Yeah, um, I, I'm gonna relate this because I feel like this is, this is as close to an authority as I can feel like, but, so Stephanie's friend, um, you're <laughs> treated like a true gamer ignored by society? Exactly. Exactly, Willie Fresh. <laughs> so I was used to it, basically. No, but uh, Stephanie's old friend, like, was a Westerner that moved to Japan and had lived there for a long time, had learned the language, and what he said felt like the most accurate <laughs> the most accurate summary that I'd ever heard which is that calling it racist isn't accurate it's just they treat you differently there are different rules so if you're not Japanese you never will be and you'll never get treated to or talked to in the way that they will talk to a native Japanese person that doesn't mean you're talked to worse just differently um, so he was like that took a while to like get used to, and he was also like, that doesn't really hurt my feelings, it's just how they how they operate. And I'm not like looked down on, there's just a different set of rules uh, for, for what you do and how you're treated. Um, so, the one thing he did notice as kind of, a, or the one thing he did say is kind of a, a very small example, was that he was like, yeah, I, I, would, I would try to speak in Japanese as much as possible. And they would always say, oh, your Japanese is so good. And I was, I was like, that's a weird thing to say, considering I don't think it's that good. And the more he talked about it, the more fluent he got. People stopped saying that. And then he was like, oh, oh, it's one of those, like, they're saying it to be polite. But what they actually mean is that your Japanese isn't very good. And you have to read that in between the lines of how they communicate. It's more about what isn't said than what is said. Or what is said isn't always what's literally true. It's just the most polite way to sort of get your message across uh so yeah and he, he also said that man like a lot of the japanese people are even they're racist against each other so the people in osaka and the people in tokyo look different pretty visibly and they don't super get along uh so yeah um but the thing is though like All that stuff's pretty easy to navigate. They make it easy for you. Um, it's Canada cranked to 11, pretty much, it feels like. You ever been to Mexico? Yes. Uh, but pretty, in the super touristy areas though. Mm. I've done some, uh, I've done some so diving you in the, the Gulf and uh, Hello, no more. She's in the company now. a few, tri That's a few uh, trips down there. Member of the company. We're drinking together, kill the Asians are racist and most of them don't know they are straight up. But we I mean, notion could could, could extend that to all humans. A woman in a man's garb, raise her. I mostly lurk in this chat, but I just want to say that you're a great streamer, and the amount of, amount you managed to kick ass at video games while also interacting with chat is amazing. Thank you, thank you, Villar Diller. I appreciate that. Now, I, I I had I've always kind of suspected that I was pretty good at playing games and multitasking. Um. Uh, and hopefully I can. Uh, hopefully I can. Turn it into a some. I just a turn lot. it into a mansion. And I don't the Twitch mansion. So thank you, Villar. I appreciate company. that. Ah, gift of the gap she's got. 
The U.S. needs a little bit of that attitude, not being a dick in public, yelling every belief you have. Public harmony should be a bigger priority. This I like. I agree. Looks like a lad knows her sword work, kills a boar as if it were a piglet. I could see how, if ever I've seen, if I were, if I grew up in Japan, I would probably hate how reserved it all is, and just really wish that people could speak their minds and like be loud and break stuff. All tipsy on horseback. Jesus. Strange on account they bloody so, sideways. I could see it both ways. I think there is an element of like grass is always greener. Naturally. What's the stake? Uh for me one of the most I don't like everyone everyone has different things I think that stick out in their minds. For me, one time Steph and I we were just kind of walking around in Tokyo because I wanted to reserve time to just sort of walk around and, and let my feet take us where where they were. We found this this uh park that was in the middle of the city and there, there was no booth there was nothing you could just walk right in but there was a kiosk where you had to buy a ticket and the tickets were like 300 yen but uh that was it just one unmanned ticket machine and uh i walked up to it and the machine was spotless like it, it worked perfectly it accepted money it dispensed a ticket it was super cheap but there wasn't there wasn't like graffiti on it nothing was broken or scratched there were no names into it and like it wasn't bolted to the ground uh i do think that there is a cost to being rowdy there is a cost to that american sensibility of like oh there's a thing i'm gonna go knock it over that means you can't have a ticket machine that sells admission tickets for three dollars to a beautiful public park but that also means that, you know, suicide rates are higher and, like, there's all kinds of, like, legacy societal problems you're inheriting. So, you know, I think I think there are positives and negatives. Certainly I got to enjoy a positive because I got to just be like, oh, I get to go to a park. And it's cheap and don't have to worry about it. <sighs> yeah, sorry, I'm, I've been un abnormally talkative tonight. Well, that's an awful Yeah, blue there's an element of why we can't have nice things. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Race a woman. The horse is mine. Yeah. To race the Baron himself, I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to be on. Oh, what happens if you mix ram what timings? Usually the ram just clocks itself down. Don't Motherboards will usually do that. If I win, I take your sword. And so you turned on series alternate outfit? Not drink Did you do the same for Triss and Yen? Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't remember turning this on. Uh... You talking to chat is what, what makes your streams very captivating? Oh, okay. I, I guess I just worry that people might people might be showing up for Witcher. I'm sitting here gabbing about other things. Oh, it's in the options menu? Okay. Yeah, no nude mods installed yet. That's gonna be for the uh, for the drinking the drinking stream. Shots and tits on the Lawrence stream. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop! There are still people in chat upset that you aren't paying attention to the game. I'm still paying attention to the game. It's just taking taking a long time. I get that though. Um It makes sense to me that you'd be frustrated if you really like a game and you're really excited to see someone experience it and instead they're rambling about an awesome trip they got to have. I'd be annoyed at that. I promise you, chat, I am paying attention. Get some stamina back here. Oh. Had one just like it. Crap. Should've I thought I didn't know he was so close to the inside. No, Baron, no. Aww. Damn it. Fire hair. See that? Not nearly as haggard as you think me. Congratulations. Unnecessary. Better you bid your sword farewell. Why await my reward? Is, she's gotta give up her sword? That sucks. Tenu, thank you for the uh the prime sub. Let's talk about Japan. Makes me want to go back so much more. Everyone was so nice and helpful. The ships in Tokushima were nice so nice to ride on, yeah. It is it is by culture and by everything there, it is a mad woman. Man. In an instant, all of it is a country tailored for tourists. Every man ran to save his skin, even were it to break his neck. And they make it? 
Some, I. Others were not so fortunate. Yeah. Kali, you're, you're not wrong there. Apart from the few dishes and sushi, Japanese cuisine doesn't really seem all that amazing. I had a few excellent meals in Japan, but I mostly just remember the ramen. Like the, the 800 yen bowls of ramen. Those are amazing. And making piss poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry. I'll find Anna too. When you run out of horse stamina, basically just swerve back and forth in front of the people behind you. They won't pass you. Yeah. Do the, do the traffic break kind of thing. Japanese cuisine is really fucking good. It's, it's very basic and clean, I think. Do you ever feel pressure to play games on Twitch you don't want to play? Absolutely not. Because I haven't started playing games for Twitch. You know? I, I would be doing like battle royales and, and stuff if I wanted to play the play the Twitch game hard. I'm being very selfish about the games I choose to play. They're ones that I want to play so far. And I I think if I if I change that I might have more viewership. That's something I've been wondering about. So so yeah, I haven't done it yet. Uh Courtney, you going to bed? Alright, have a good night. Thank you for watching. Okay. Can't help wondering why you made a deal. With a oh, GTA RP? Yeah. What could I do? Cast myself at them and die a hero. Fuck a hero's death. Fuck death. I don't know. Am I going to be doing Temtem tomorrow? Or am I going to be playing more Witcher? I don't know. None will remember it. Temeria is no more. Damn. There's naught left to betray. The local Nilfgaardian garrison doesn't look that strong. What of it? Even were I to attack, cut them down to a man, others will come soon. Black ones will flood this land. Take control before hmm. long. Show How do you feel about your Twitch viewership? Um, Swifty, it's it's orders of magnitude more people than I've ever had before, and uh, I mean, twenty is is hard for me to wrap my head around. But what is it like over six hundred? That's ridiculous. I wouldn't I wouldn't think that many people would want to hang out and watch video Bring games. But here. I'm glad. Just curious. I'm very glad it's the case. It's so. Secret. I was a Timarian soldier. More units. Oh, Kingdom Hearts DLC? Man. Soon after, we lost hope of regrouping, driving the foe back. I wonder if it'll be good. North. What uh, What are they adding? Deserters, or merely broken men joined us. I'm, I was meant to do some achievement cleanup on Kingdom Hearts 3, but never quite got around By to it. By the time we reached Crow's Perch, I commanded a sizable force. Just march into the fortress, make yourselves at home. Oh, Compton, thanks for the cheer. With Nilf are you like variety? Yeah, me too. Local Very much. Lord had fled. Abandon the perch. Once this war's over, I think you awkward lobster. Victorious, the black ones will grant me a title. Hmm. All talk of a self-proclaimed baron will cease. Oh, jeez. Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Nice. Common folk say witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what. Are they writing Final Fantasy characters? Finally. Turn. I thought it was so. So weird that they dropped Final Fantasy characters nearly entirely from Kingdom Hearts 3. Like, they verbally mention a couple of them and that's it. Wh that was free? Oh man. Maybe it is time to play Kingdom Hearts 3 again. Hmm. Time Zones. Oh, you play Fire Emblem Three Houses? Not yet. Um, that is that is a game I wanted to pick up. There's actually a lot of weeby anime Switch games that I've wanted to play. That Tokyo Mirage Sessions is out now. Dragon Quest XI. Oh! It's crazy too when I think about it. I could, I could. The volume of games is so high that I could just do nothing but play JRPGs these days. Good ones. A ragdoll. Uh huh. Oh, thank you, Eurocan. No, I wouldn't have had, wouldn't have had the doll if I didn't talk to him first. Dragon Quest Builders. Ah, uh, maybe. People recommend that game very highly, but I've never been a super big fan of, like, sandbox building games like Minecraft. Although my understanding is that it's Minecraft, but with objectives and, like, a whole campaign and stuff like that, so maybe. Yeah, near. Near. Yep, I'm gonna... So, tomorrow, um, again, le leaning back on how bad I am at budgeting time, the plan is... I've always thought about, like, on, on full streaming days where I don't have anything else planned. Like, today I was editing the YouTube videos. The first half of the day was kind of dedicated to that. To water the whole thing. Tomorrow what I'm hoping is that I can have, like, basically two streaming sessions. Something that's, like, mid-morning to afternoon and then afternoon to evening. 
So what I want to do tomorrow is Sekiro and Witcher 3. And then Wednesday. Actually, the podcast is on Wednesday. So, but yeah, I'm going to play Nier again this week. And Sekiro. Um, gotta, gotta finally finish up some, some older awesome games that I haven't, haven't put, a, put away yet. Are you at Sekiro or starting over? No, I'm at the, uh, I'm at the first owl fight. Um, and that's a hell of a thing to leave off, uh, leave off on, really. Uh, you must have tons of backlog from the sheer amount of hours some games are. Yeah. And, and from like, basically working long, long days for the last three years. Um, also in Japan, I was an exchange student for a week. Everyone was so nice, food was so good. My mom made amazing donuts, but everyone else's family had a kid that played Pacific Assault, which seems weird. Yeah, they seem to have gotten over the whole World War II thing. I mean, minus the, minus the bomb, I guess. That's still kind of baked into the culture, but. Doing the stream highlight videos? Yeah, I'll keep them coming as, ugh. Hopefully, hopefully this week is clean enough for YouTube. Um, the last ones have gotten decent viewership, but man, the revenue is just in the trash. What boss you up to in Sekiro? The, the owl. Owl one. So, yeah. Okay. There, there's your kitty cat. So wait, where's this cat that I missed? What is this all about? Nibbles or whatever. Doing Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot on stream? Maybe not a whole playthrough on stream, but I will definitely probably stream it again. We check the trees. For a cat? No. Shaft of Justice, thank you for gifting two more subs. I watch highlights, but I'm catching most of it live. Yeah. I mean, certainly if you do that, you don't have to, you know. I, I throw a little, oh boy, I went the wrong way. I put a I put a little uh, edit salt on it, but oh, you missed nibbles when you didn't go to Oxenford, but he will make a later appearance in the game. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's tough, but I gotta I gotta uh, stick to my guns here. There was one path through through Witcher, and it is mine. So fast, Roach. I also be better off restarting Sekiro. You're gonna get absolutely stomped by Al if you haven't played in a while. Uh, I did, and I was. Uh, I, I reinstalled it and played it a little bit, just to kind of remember the controls and the buttons and stuff, and yeah. Run. It was a stomping, but I, I was I was remembering it by the end. I got, like, I got about, like, I want to say two-thirds through his first phase after a couple of attempts, so I'm like, it'll be fun to do on stream. People just watch me die over and over again. Whatever. You ever finished Yakuza 0? No. That's the, the Yakuza series is another... Like stream project that I'd like to take on, just streaming all those games because now they have like they got Zero, Kiwami One and Two, and then Three, Four, and Five. So like they sold them as a bundle, go, go. right? So the backseat gaming on Sekiro will be real. Yeah, that's true. I gotta I gotta mentally prepare for that to to like lose and be a little be a little grumbly, and then also look over and see somebody saying like. You should hit left bumper to parry attacks. I'm like, yeah, dude. <laughs> those are those are my favorite. The tips where somebody's telling you basic controls. Like, that's the problem. You must not have just known that the buttons were there. No, I knew. <laughs> I just didn't hit them. <laughs> so, yeah. That, <laughs> I better prepare for that. Come on now. <laughs> just let mods be trigger happy. Nah, it's, it's fine. I... I, I think it's perfectly understandable to, uh, to, to, to see somebody playing a game and want to say something, you know? To, to want to contribute about it. Um, but, however, I do think I have to stop here tonight because I'm getting really hungry. Hit W to go forward, yeah. Oof. My, my keyboard was actually messing up. Um, later verified it when I was like typing out an email and the W didn't register completely right. But Thank you guys for watching. Um, I, yeah, I was, get, I was pretty chatty tonight. So didn't end up putting a ton of uh, putting a ton of progress down on Witcher, but that's okay. We're savoring the ride. Let me see who's streaming right now. Who can I raid? Man, this is a problem with streaming late. I don't know anyone who's streaming right now. Dang it! Yeah, I don't know anybody. Um. Jeez. I guess Vinny's playing Chrono Trigger. Raid yourself. Good call. I'll just I'll just let it go. I will I will release you guys into the ether. Go play video games. Oh, back to work. Oof. 
Sorry to hear that, Sesh. Hopefully your job is going well. But pick a random person? Yeah, I'll do that, I guess. All right. I'll, ra I'll rate a rando. We'll do that. But uh, thank you guys for watching again. Thank you so much for all the gifts and subs and things like that. You guys are making me feel real special. Uh, Geo? Oh, did you just get here? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The VOD will be there. But yeah, thanks thanks again for watching. I always do appreciate it. This is always so fun. It's so, so nourishing in a way that I didn't know could, could be that way. Ugh. I'm so blessed. All right. Thank you guys. Have a good rest of your week, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone.